everyone, and welcome back to another OP Noobs tournament. Today, we are bringing you guys some more Mushroom Wars 2. Actually, for most of you, you guys already know that it is day two of our tournament today. Yesterday, we did not stream, unfortunately, due to, you know, some things. Um, mainly because streaming, I don't even know how many matches that must have been, um, but there was like 100 players, and that would have taken several several hours to stream the entire tournament but today we're going to be doing our best to stream every single game so long as time permits my name is attila or lachesiru um i am here joined by some wonderful people vin why don't you introduce yourself <laughs> hi vin blaine uh good to be back and uh we also have our good friend cheeseburger uh go ahead and introduce yourself as well well, you just introduced me, so how am I supposed to introduce myself when you just told him who I was? And it's probably got my name right down at the bottom here. <laughs> guy with the beard. The guy uh, with the beard. No hair on the set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need... Do you want to shine my head for me? It looks good. It looks good, Cheese It's good. It's nice and shiny. Vind and Cheeseburger are going to be our expert analysts of the day. They're going to be running us through a lot of um, the more in-depth mechanics of the gameplay we're going to be seeing today. It is an amateur tournament, so we're hoping to see a lot of maybe um, new things, some strategies that we might not see so much in the in the pro scene. But um, maybe maybe we invent some new metas here today. Uh, it's important to go over the rules for today's tournament, so why don't we do that right now? A quick reminder to everybody, and this is probably something we're going to see a lot today, we were just talking about it as casters ourselves, is that every single match point must be played on King of the Hill. Regardless of who, what the score is, if you are about to win or if your opponent is about to win, the game must be played on King of the Hill today. Um, we do have... Uh, a bunch of banned maps today. Um, if you guys are ever confused on what maps are banned, uh, just go into the Twitch chat, type in exclamation mark uh, maps. That'll give you all the banned maps for today. But since we're just doing this once, we'll just tell you all of them live right here. Um, all the banned maps include D2, 9, 20, 24, 28, 36, 48, 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 59, and 63. All of those maps today are going to be banned, and all of the first games that you guys play today will also be on D58 on Conquest mode. Um, just to keep things consistent, to make sure uh, things are a little more fair, as uh, casters, Vin and Cheeseburger, and myself, we had a, a couple opportunities to play against each other um, on D58. So we, we know a lot of the ins and outs of that map, so we'll hopefully be able to give you guys some pretty great commentary on that today. Um, as for match procedure, uh, it's it's going to be relatively the same as uh, yesterday um, for all our participants, although you will have to be inviting us as spectators. Um, invite, even even just inviting one of us, especially um, the esports for Indie, um, is most important if you like your uh, game to be streamed. Um, other than that, uh, most of our games are best of five, uh, except for the finals, which will be a best of seven. Um, I don't believe I missed anything. Vin, Cheeseburger, any uh, any more addition onto the rules there? Well, I think you forgot to breathe at one point there. I thought you were going <laughs> to... And I thought you were going to read them in Russian. You lied to me. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. I've been practicing my Russian. Um, whoa, whoa, time out. Start again? All right. Can we start again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to restart everything. All right. Go over this in Russian. Stream. Let's start again. <laughs> And I think, so I, I, I guess that was everything, I guess. Let's see. I think you got it. I think you've got it mailed. Oh, yeah, all uh, heroes are clear. yes, yes. Thank you, Vint. All of the heroes are clear for today. So if you feel like playing Satoshi, go ahead and play. If you feel like playing Trini, which I, you know, I bet that's going to happen a lot. I'm excited to see uh, the newer heroes today. Um, more than anything, especially because this is an amateur tournament. So people who are coming into today's tournament, um, maybe newer to the Mushroom Wars 2 scene, uh, has an opportunity to play some of these newer heroes. And maybe we're going to see a lot of mains, you know? It's it's not like we're banning uh, heroes against each other or anything. So if we do, we might see some consistent players anyways. Um, I'm excited for today's tournament. We are going to be running the Day 2 bracket on the Battle Fire, guys. We do have a command for that as well. Uh, we also have lovely support staff in Twitch chat. If you guys are interested in following along with the bracket, I believe our first game today is going to be 
BRK06 against Nat Davies94. Um, Vind, uh, Jason, or Cheeseburger, you guys have you guys have any idea how this game is gonna go? Um, no idea. Actually, I don't know either of these here um, players. So heroes, players, yeah. <laughs> Damn. So this is going to be a totally fresh game, hey? Yeah, totally yeah no, this is going to be a pleasant game. surprise. Uh, yeah. it, most of the top 16 are, are relatively new. This is the next generation of players we're getting to see. Yeah, I mean, I know Asverail, um, Haunted Hero, and uh, Z Zibana. Uh, he's a French player. He's fairly, uh, he's a new moderator. So... Um, yeah, that's about all I know out of this group of players. So it'll be interesting to see. That's super exciting then. That's going to be a lot of fresh faces, which is really good. I'm just looking at yesterday's bracket, and it looks like uh, BRK won his first game 3-0, his second game 3-1, and his third game 3-1 as well. So, um, and, and he was seated 32nd. So, you know, going into the first game, he should be, should be rather... Uh, rather splendid to see here. Although I can't believe how many players showed up yesterday because this bracket um, and yesterday's tournament was huge. So big thank you to our lovely staff um, and everybody helped out with yesterday's tournament. It seems like uh, you guys were put through the ringer here with, with how many games you had to uh, moderate. So, you know, hats off to all of our staff and everybody who participated up until today. That's really great to see. Yeah, and I'm kind of actually excited to see BRK06 as well because uh, he actually beat my son in match three yesterday. Oh, really? So, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how he plays today. So That is actually, wow. So the question is, are you cheering for him or are you... Sure, why not? I, you know, I, I, <laughs> I'm fair and square, so, you know, I'm going to, you know, I just want to cheer for everybody. I want to see everybody be winners, but unfortunately they can't. So I have. Were you were you helicopter parenting um, your your son there when he was playing his his games? Actually, well, no. Actually, I was at work, and so he was just texting me asking for advice uh, on and off throughout. His oh day. yeah. Now you want to tell us what you were actually doing at work while he was playing? Uh, <laughs> watching streams, uh, watching <laughs> playing with you. Um, <laughs> I wasn't actually working, but I was at work. <laughs> Sounds like a rather... I distinctly remember playing 2v2 <laughs> with you while your son was in tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very true that I was doing that. So, yeah. That's great. That's great to hear. That's hilarious. Um, okay, so a bunch of fresh faces. You said you only knew how many people there? Three people in three? Yeah, I only recognized three from meeting up with them. And... What about you, Vin? How many, how many faces do you, do you recognize here? Literally, those are the same three, uh, just from Discord, the, the new faces on Discord, and then um, uh, the guy that's been streaming lately, uh, Haunted Hero, I caught up with his stream some yesterday, that was pretty cool. Oh wow, so we are expecting to see some some really, really interesting games. I, I love when when we don't know players. You know, besides the Lomi alt that's probably hiding in here somewhere, probably just throwing everybody, um, and I know looking looking into uh looking into the chat i'm hoping to see lomi in there because you know um i don't know if we have restricted chat winners for our giveaways today but a uh, reminder we do have some major giveaways for you guys um in chat and on stream so stick to uh, stay tuned you guys uh pay attention to chat we're gonna be asking you guys a ton of questions um and hopefully we'll be able to get you some stuff i'm looking at you lomi if you're in there you know i don't <laughs> no, know if we have restricted prizes awesome. today He's won enough stuff. Let's see some new faces win. <laughs> I'm sure our, our lovely support staff in chat will be able to uh, moderate the the uh, Lomin Lomi Nation here. Looks like we're just waiting for one of our casters to join us in the lobby here. But uh, while we wait, let's jump into the lobby, you guys. Uh, we do have BRK06 and Nat Davies ready for you guys in just a minute. Wow, absolutely perfect timing. We got all the casters inside. We're going to be jumping into our first game here. Um, I'm uh, this is exciting. This Stella. is very exciting. all right. Let's see how these guys play. We've got a Stella and a Mardio. 
All right. So what's right, the so going to be, guys? It's got to be fast. It's got to be, be very fast. fast. Yeah. And the question is, are Here they rushing the forge? Oh, or Matt Davis is too slow, I think. A little late, yeah. Late yeah, on the draw. Way, way too late. Yeah. So that's Nobody's gonna making a move on the left forge. They're upgrading. Oh, yeah. On the left. In trouble. Nothing on the left, yeah. That's going to be Nat Davies going down here. I'm just looking to expand early. Nat Davies is in trouble. Oh, no, but BRK going for a push instead, and I think that's going to be GG. Yeah, that is GG. Or Nat. What do you think of the, what do you think of the Mario choice? A little weak, I think, for this map. Yeah, on a map where you're starting, where your unit counts are really important to... Uh small villages and not many villages uh stella's definitely got an advantage because of her first ability yeah, yeah that extra unit production is definitely going to be helping a lot especially if you do find yourself falling behind um at the very start of the game i think having just even that little extra unit production you know being if you lose the right side you can maybe catch up on the left side because you can i don't think you can i don't think you can catch up if you lose the right side but remember this is an amateur tournament so we you know we could see a lot of mistakes we could yes so yeah i mean it'll be interesting to see if somebody can bring it back if they lose the right and are able to win from the left the thing is now they don't have to no more duplex 58 and they can sit spread out they can branch out maybe nat davies has some kind of secret strategy maybe he's been planning something else since uh on a different map maybe he's more comfortable somewhere else yeah maybe so i mean that's that's the best part you know it's it's important to remember that d58 is just our starting map it's good to see because i believe speed is key right yes yeah, speed I, is correct, key correct me if and i'm wrong timing i think timing may be the best uh winning factor on that map absolutely time yeah timing and speed i i would i would agree with you that is for sure Oh, duplex. Sure important. Duplex. And it does look like we have everybody in the lobby and they're playing on duplex 11. Let's get into game two, you guys. All right, so duplex 11. What are we going to see here? Vin Cheese? What do you got for me? It's going to be a slow start. I mean, you start with low unit counts, right? So... We just got to watch. I mean, uh, I like uh, BRK's start where he's going to cap that top building right away. So I'll you can tell he's played the map before. He, he knew how many to send 75% to that top building uh, to get his maximum unit production and be able to still upgrade by the time his units arrived. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell BRK is definitely a little bit quicker than Nat here. Nat's slowly, slowly catching up, falling behind just a little bit in terms right. of He's, up, production here. he's fully upgrading. So he's going to be behind on production here this entire game. So chances are BRK is going to be able to make a move on that top 10 first and lock it down because his unit protection is going to be higher. He'll be able to get there quicker. Yeah. We do see that Stella again, though. All right. I, and like I, you said, here it comes going in for that top 10. Not snaking, though. Running in there. Oh, oh, oh he got it. just steals it. Absolute wow. wow. You know, he may be behind in terms of unit production, but now he's definitely caught up going four villages to four and now being able to hopefully capture this 15. Absolutely, no that, problem. And that's a good example of why snaking is so important because if he had snaked those units, he could have squeezed past that tower and saved at least half of the units that died off in that move, and that would have saved that village. Yeah, because he only took it with one. Right? Like, uh, Orange, Nat Davis, only took it with mm -hmm. one. So... Absolutely. Now we're going to be seeing that aggressive push in the center here. Got tons of units for BRK that are going to be doing some upgrading, absolutely. And when are we going to see a Forge pop? As soon as we see a Forge pop, we know the big move is coming. It looks like they're focused on unit production more than, uh, making aggressive right. moves just yet. Yeah couldn't agree more does brk sitting on all of his abilities right now nat did just acquire his ninja oh, oh nasty treason. nasty treason but is he gonna keep it no not at level one yeah nat's definitely gonna be oh, one there's to run in there's there the but forge. going with the forge now these towers absolutely doing tons of work at nat davies units here 
He spent a lot of units taking that back, though. He sure right. did. Oh, and here we go now. Nice Taylor aggressive push. Forge. Now a smart BRK bringing in that forge during that push was excellent. Getting that second tower. Here comes a ninja. Ninja. Not doing too too much though. Oh, Nat Davis in a little bit of trouble mind. here. Yeah, he's he is gonna get that. Tower. Oh, locking it down. Very good first there from Nat Davis. Great defense. All right, so this going is at the top. So is he going to be able to get that? I don't think he's got the morale. <clears throat> morale is no, too he low. He lost a lot of morale taking that tower. It was a high and treason cost. popping again. Yeah, be treason. treason with the forge buff. So unfortunately for him, that's going to be very yeah, hard to defend now at the bottom. Yeah, he lost a good 75, 80% of his units taking that tower, which is 10 morale points per unit lost. So he lost his morale advantage by taking the tower. Yeah. yeah. Switching into that forge into the late game here, definitely not the right choice. Losing tons of units. And that's going to be GG for BRK. All right. Going on to game three. Quick reminder, this does have to be king of the hill. Yes. King of the hill. King of the hill. It can be whatever map aside second. from the band maps. That was a great game. I didn't, That was a good game. Decent start. Um, honestly thought Nat had a, a little bit, made a little bit of a mistake. You know, upgrading first instead of going for that unit production, but then managing to capture that most northern village. I thought he had an advantage at one point, but we saw the forge pop early, and his Fasse would tell us, you got to get that forge. Yeah. Got to get that forge. Very important. Put it somewhere safe. Um, you know, backline it, whatever. As long as you get that forge, you can have a big advantage. And we saw that Nat getting that forge late wasn't wasn't quite the play. And expelling those all those troops to try and get the one building and then try instead of just trying to recover and uh, defend for a bit, I think is where he really got hurt was trying to get that level one building. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more with you on that one. Um it's it's just I guess you could say on the on the lower side of things in terms of, of ranking, uh, when somebody takes something that you wanted, you want to take it back right away. You know, you kind of just feel that that need like, oh, I was gonna get that. So you try and you might waste units or you might not snake. Um, Look, I fall victim to it to this day. I get that tunnel. Yeah, like, yeah like, you tunnel. There's a short window of time where you have to get it back. And if you don't make the move immediately, you're risking them building up units and reinforcing. But uh, yeah. a level one is such a, such a tempting target. All right, and it looks like we're just waiting on Vin to join us here. It looks like these guys are going to be playing on Duplex 4. This is match point for BRK. Uh, we're going to be jumping into the lobby right now for you guys. Perfect. So it does look like we're just still waiting on Vin here. I got it. And he's in. Perfect. Sounds good. It looks like we have Nat Davies dropping in on Mario again. BRK. Are we going to see Stella once again? Yeah, we absolutely are. I'm looking forward to this. We've seen this map go haywire before. We have seen 30 second wins on this map. It's, you know, uh, you know, King of the Hill is is a wild one here. Yeah. And this is a rough one with Stella because her fourth is going to be available by the time they go for those King of the Hills, so it's easy for her to do a steal. The question is if it's enough to hold it long enough to buy time to reinforce it. Absolutely. It does look like Matt Davies is a little bit slow faster to get yeah, the King faster, of the Hills. Yeah, yeah. yeah BRK didn't yeah. make the move. That's yeah. great news. Great news. Now this That's is a forge good. rush. And there's the treason like you were talking about here. Nat Davies not really prepared for that one. It must have been a misclick sending some to the uh, middle king of the hill tower. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. So now here's the thing. He should know that that forge up top isn't super fortified here. All right. Now we're going to be seeing our first push for that king of the hill tower. Guild's coming up. Yeah, there, there it is. Absolutely going to deny the push. And now Nat Davies getting silenced, but not going to be too much. A little bit of a panic silence here. Uh, throwing all of his units out of the forge is a bit of a risk. Going to be able to get it back, though, just barely. At a morale cost, but he did get it. Yeah. 
All right, so now he just has to hold on. And this is where King of the Hill is really just a waiting game. It really is. And it's going to depend on where he goes here. And he's going to go right past him. Now is he going to go to the right buildings? Let's see. We do see Not that weak King of the Hill, but it's defended. It's defended, yep. All right, but he's losing a lot of his forges right now. We're going to see that defense break from BRK. Oh, there. That was his mistake right there. All right, now we're going to be seeing loss of a forge again. This King of the Hill Tower not going to be transferred over. He's going to be losing his forge here as well. And that last King of the Hill Tower is likely going to be pushed right now because he's sending all of his units yeah. out of it. No forges left. And that morale is tough to beat. It does look like this is going to be BRK's victory. Looking for like an elimination completely here. Mm -hmm. This is King of the Hill, but it absolutely looks like Conquest right now. It is. <laughs> and I think that's going to be the, the GG thrown up by Nat Davies. BRK moving on to round number two in our day two Mushroom Wars tournament. Great game. Great game. Again, I feel like uh, Nat Davies' late game needs to be improved a little bit. I think if he could work on something, it'd be a little bit more of his late game. What do you guys yes. think? Yes, I think so, yeah. Because if he uh, hadn't attacked, didn't put so much pressure on BRK, he wouldn't have been able to take advantage. Where if he just built troops and concentrated on defending, he would have been able to uh, hold, I think. I think so as well. Getting that second King of the Hills Tower is, is very important. Um, but keeping those forges so weak um, was a big mistake. And unfortunately, you know, Stella is... Is a good is a good hero for that. You get the unit protection, you get the de defense decrease, um, which is a little bit of a hassle to deal with when you're when you're trying to defend, obviously. And um, Stell is a great pick for King of the Hill because you know prioritize your defense. I believe is is the right way to win King of the Hill. Once you you know once you grab your lead, hold on to it. Don't let go. I'm um, surprised we haven't seen a new any of the new heroes though. I yeah, thought, not everyone has them. I guess that's true. Yeah, episode three is out, you guys. So quick reminder, you know, go and download it right now. Go buy that DLC. Spend the quick. What is it like? It's not that expensive, is it? I, it's worth every penny. It is worth every penny. Those new heroes are so fun to play. Their skills are ridiculous. Um, they even added like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it um, because it's, it's not a specific tribe, but it's different sprites, like different units. You know, they have instead of just neutral mushrooms it's there's skeletons there's sandmen it's mobile like, towers with the ufo you know being able to drop a mobile tower wherever yeah you there's there's uh you can become boulders i in this case more oh, like pebbles so because they're you know, <laughs> tiny little mushroom men Re relative to their size <laughs> they're giant yeah but you know they're actually teeny weeny so congratulations again, BRK. You're going to be moving on to round number two here. Um, it does look like our next game is going to be Enjoy, I think, or in, in, Inoy? In, inoy? Minoy Inoy? It sounds like a Doodle Bob from SpongeBob. Uh, and Cardi Fox will be our game number two for you guys in just a minute here. All right. All right. So that is gonna be our game number two uh just a word from our staff here it does look like we're doing some in chat giveaways right now i'm gonna be giving out some rank points that's very exciting you guys uh we do have some awesome awesome giveaways for you guys um today as well some of those some of those uh include uh raptor rejects uh warhammer vermintide 2 the collector's edition and yakuza zero that is what we'll be giving away ourselves on stream um, we also have a ton of in-chat giveaways as well, including rank points, some games, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to giving you guys some stuff. So what did you guys, What do you, who is your, Vin, I haven't had a chance to talk to you about this, I don't believe yet, but who is your favorite new hero? Uh, Wilford. Wilford, that's right. Oh, He's he, the most fun to play with. I, I want to love Chia, but I'm so bad with her. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know if bad is the right termination. Is the right for <laughs> why do you why do you say that? comparatively speaking? Yeah. Why do I like Wilford? Are, well, well you guys were playing two v twos the other day, so you tell me, was it together or against each other? Together. Together. 
together. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. And, you know, Wilford's a great utility partner, I believe. Absolutely. I believe. If not, Wilford is probably the greatest. Like, I feel like they built his kit specifically around 2v2s and utility. Don't get he's me wrong. He's great in 1v1. Also. He's great in 1v1 too. And I think people yeah. don't understand his skills properly. So they underestimate what he's able to do. His second in particular, it's, it's so powerful against some well, major fourth abilities. Uh, his third that, too. Is that his difference. equilibrium, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken? Is yeah, that his... yeah, he takes all your units and pushes them into a single building. And if you have more than seven villages or so, uh, yeah, it makes a big difference, especially Huge against uh, Kinder Dro Bomb Drop or Pahom's Panic. Yeah. Uh, it makes a big, big difference. And that's a huge count of play. Just for being granted, but... And his third, too. I mean, I've used it really well where people have overloaded a front tower and mm -hmm. with the, uh, and so all their troops are there and you hit the third and it equalizes the troop count between all buildings. Yeah. And so it's, you know, it catches people off guard underestimating what's going to happen. It's tricky to defend against that as well because, you know, if you do overload or if there's that one really precious uh objective you know whether it's a tower a forge or anything and you overload that yeah. and you know you send a bunch of units there yourself how do you defend against an like immediate split you know there's it's so hard to predict that and even if that point is being you know challenged by you as wilford who knows where you're sending your units even if it looks like you're sending all your units to that really important objective if you equalize everything and then they go to defend it you also have that opportunity to sneak past and, you know, take a back line or, you know, whatnot. Absolutely. So. Yeah, there's yeah, lots most of, of the, place. Most of the complaints I hear about the new heroes being uh, overpowered is just people haven't had time to really fully flesh out how to adapt their strategies. And going up against a Wilford, you don't want to overload a building because you aren't in a position to defend it if he uses his third. You have to change your mindset based on the hero you're going against, and that takes time to learn their strategies. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I agree. I, I, remember, I agree completely. I, sorry to interrupt you. I mean, but I remember um, when Kenor came out, how yeah. angry people were. <laughs> yeah. Right? That was a Kenner man back in the day. Right? And he used his fourth. You know, and I, I can't say that I was necessarily happy, but I figured out how to beat him. Right? And how yeah. he you know and it's just you got to adapt your strategy and i think it'll make us better players um in the long run Absolutely. so what what vin makes it so difficult for you to play chia where's where's the struggle where where does that stem from uh familiarity um you get to used to you get used to playing with the player so it becomes second nature with chia i still have to think about my timing and lack of experience with things like her boulders in particular uh, i haven't played her enough to get a good feel for it where i don't have to think about it uh, and so i find myself in a position of overthinking and therefore my timing is off i personally think i i i find that she has all of her abilities i can use accordingly except for sandstorm I don't know what it is, but I struggle to utilize Sandstorm. I believe in its fullest potential. For some reason, I struggle to use it properly. I don't know whether it's my so, placement or my timing or what's... And Cheese and Vin, what do you guys think is the best time to use Chia's fourth? Well, I, I am really effective with it when I'm getting uh, rushed, when I've had a failed attack or something where I'm going to have to defend heavily so I get time for unit production. Um, or if I'm going to attack and they're standing a mass to defend, I just put it over their troops that are moving to defend and while I'm doing my attack and hoping, but I don't cover the building I'm attacking, right? That is the yeah. key. So Yeah, you don't want to get your own unit sucked into the maelstrom. Right? No, absolutely not. You don't want them to turn into a little sandman. A little sandman, yeah. <laughs> ah, no, that's worst case scenario. But I will cover half the building. All right, perfect. So it does look like we're going to moving on to match number five uh, in round one, just trying to coordinate everybody. And it does look like uh, Bizich and Set Svet Svetan uh, are going to be our, so our next. Can you say those again? 
Can you say those again? Zvets, Zvets, Svet, Svetin, and uh, Bizich are going to be playing uh, in uh, our second game stream today. So good luck to these players again. A reminder: it is on Duplex Fifty Eight. It is going to be a best of five, and the match point does have to be King of the Hill. Doesn't matter what map, as long as it's not banned. Um, and it does look like we have just about everybody in lobby. So let's jump in right now. All right, sounds good. It looks like we are just waiting for our lovely cheeseburger to join us in the lobby here. I'm not Does anybody, uh, has anybody ever seen um, uh, Veggie Tales? You know, Cheeseburger, the the song, or lovely <laughs> I cheeseburger. Have sent, I have sent him that the cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yep. Let amazing. Me just start the game quick. All right, sounds good. Um, that's amazing. That's I really didn't catch it until now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has that been sent. The cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing all right it does look like these guys are just about ready here we're just waiting on again cheeseburger no big deal um duplex 58 the key is timing we've learned that the key yes. is timing timing um speed obviously skill is you know something important um and it's it's reading your opponent so it looks like these guys are ready can't wait to see what heroes they choose see this is this is oh nice oh, nice matchup very nice, nice. Oh. oh throwing stuff for a curveball hold on a second the home really wow that's interesting Svetan, Svetan, dropping in a home that is interesting all right let's see how these guys decide let's see who's quick let's see who's got the timing right oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a second he's got it he's got it he's got it Oh wow, this is this is this is trouble. Yeah it is. Oh you got it though. Look at that. Wow, the home drop in a second. I don't know if you guys saw that, but decent timing on the resurrection here. Looking like a cool cat. Pixo for the win on that one. That uh yes. first was killer. Big time. Palm's that question first... on that. I don't think he quite realized that his first doesn't work on a level five village. No, and that that first on Pixo, like a mobile four tower, is is so nutty. I will say it time like that is like it is so good. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a brutal first. It is a super brutal first, and on a small map like Duplex Fifty Eight, that thing is like. That conquers one side or the other. You know, that is zero movement from your units. Otherwise, you're going to get scorched. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, Pixo, again, great, great hero. Great addition to the game. Uh, Duplex 58, challenging to play against, but uh, understandable at the same time. You got to be ready for that sort of thing. You got to be You got to be prepared. I know I've tried that strategy against Cheese a few times. Um, I almost had him Almost had him on the run one of the, one of the times. I'll tell you that. <laughs> And then I lost still, but <laughs> <laughs> not going to talk about well, that. I did. Maybe I, maybe I should come and play one of your games though. And then you can. <laughs> really good, right? I did beat yeah, him. Don't, I did don't make me play League of Legends. I yeah. did beat him one time, which was like a surprise. Um, congratulations though. Um, Biz, I believe took that one. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Biz took that one. Um, Svetan, it's your map choice your selection no more duplex 58 let's see your strategy i love the second game of each of these maybe matches. he'll want to do duplex 58 again you never know yeah. oh maybe, you're right you're right maybe he does but this is my this is my favorite scen scenario oh, oh, no. oh my goodness these guys are ready let's jump into the lobby here Most right, this map in the game. Yes. <laughs> this map is <laughs> redonkulous. 
This is, is Mario not... is Mario the play? I feel like Mario tends to struggle a lot, but he has a lot of time. His fog of war is very effective on this map. Yes. Uh, both defensively and offensively, actually. But uh, I still think Pixo as a hero might actually have the advantage here. I think so, yeah. Mapper towers can really kill you, and having a mobile tower to put anywhere. Uh, no, like, like now. Like now. It's tricky business. It's definitely not going to be going to be zero fortification on that. It's going to be getting rid of uh, maybe 10, 12 units that were sent out. It's just a question of who's willing to take the time to upgrade all the way versus make their push for that middle forge and uh, possibly yeah. convert it. <laughs> Absolutely denying the unit production here. Yeah, oh, is he going to sneak so enough? Hard. No, he doesn't have it. And now, I mean... Will Fog of War protect in. from Pixos first? Yes. But you've got to use a third or a second to defend a... against a first, right? So you're Correct. expecting a lot of mana to do that. See, and we're already seeing the forge from the Pixo. Their biz doing a good job. You know, get that early forge. Where's Fosse? You'll tell him. Yeah, good job. I can, I can, forge. I can see. I can, I can feel him saying, "Yes, good forge, nice work." And look at this. This is where. This is one of the scenarios where having. Um, Equilibrium. Right yeah, there it is. But this can only block so many. It's enough. It's perfect. Look at that. Oh, see, had he placed it just a tiny bit over, he would have got. He would have denied some more of uh, Biz's, I guess, movement. But in now that he's got to defend against call. us. Pixo's got his fourth up, so it's going to be very, very difficult. Oh, see, this is tricky. You're right. That fourth is devastating. Not being used though. Should have been used, in Should've. my opinion. I used a second, but I mean, not the best cap. Oh, gravity going up now as well. Yeah. Gravity, devastating ability here. And really just defending right now is what it seems he seems to be doing, anyways. We're seeing double forge right now for Biz. First going out again, it's gonna be nasty. Yeah. There's the morale flip. Morale flip and look at how much look look just how much damage that was doing. If Sveden has, doesn't have enough units forward to really make use of his uh, hypnosis. No. Oh That's man, good. we're gonna oh. be seeing that second and first going out, and this is this is really this is really the devastating pressure that Pixo can can really use here. Yeah. You know. Just, Did you see that, how fast his first swapped out? Spamming, spamming yeah. his first. And look at here it comes again. First up, one again, once again now. Oh, kudos to Bizic for pulling this off without building a tower. He's been able to just use his first instead of uh, wasting units to build a tower. Yeah, absolutely. And up it goes again, defending, not being able to send any units out of that position without taking He's some not losses. A second brief. No, and look at his first up once again here. Off it goes, and put it back any minute now. Absolutely ridiculous how quickly that UFO comes up. Well, that's what happens once we're in energy rush too, right? So. You know, oh, absolutely. You know, things will just come up so quickly, and you know that 20 seconds becomes 10 seconds, and as long as he's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's that's huge. Just absolutely cheesing him, and it does look like Biz is going to be taking this. 2-0, moving on to game number three here. Wow. Couple of units still out. Look at that first chest getting <laughs> rid of them all. Just, just having a laugh like, now as well. I don't want to encourage this behavior, but that was really well done. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still one unit out. Is he gonna throw his UFO? No, GG once again here from Biz. Going so into cruel. game number three, so cruel. Like, <laughs> so cruel. <laughs> I feel bad. I do feel bad for uh, Svetan there. Um, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't have the new expansion. Um, so that could be the first time seeing that. Well, excuse me. Aside from the first game they played, that could be the first time seeing Pixo uh, or one of the new heroes. Yes. There hasn't been a whole lot of time for people to really uh, 
formulate their new tactics based around these new heroes that unless you put a lot of a lot of time into study uh into facing off with these guys uh, yeah there's a learning curve absolutely now we're going to be going on to game number three from biz and svetan i'm looking forward to this it is game point for biz quick reminder that game points do have to be played on the king of the hill um just don't want to see any awkward disqualifications or losses because it wasn't played on King of the Hill because nothing makes me more uncomfortable than uh, an unfair loss. Um, but again, this is going to be a good game. I'm excited to see what Biz is going to do. Is Biz going to drop Pixel again? Or excuse me, is Biz going to throw in some more UFOs? Because I think so. That's like playing Frisbee with your first... Like, I think it's I think it's back and forth like a college ultimate frisbee team. Like that is crazy. All right, it does look like we have everybody in game. This is on King of the Hill. We do have Duplex Twenty Seven, and let's jump into the lobby here for you guys. All right, so Svetan dropping in Ankh. One of my personal favorite character designs is Ankh. Nobody, everybody likes the guy with the huge sword. One King of the Hill Tower on this map, gonna be a bit tricky. Lots of forges nearby. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm already worried. He's got his first up already, you guys. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> he was more efficiently at capping and killing his own troops though to get his first up so quick. Yeah. So what's, what's, what's the strategy here? That top forge, uh, you are they're just trying to expand to get their unit production up, and then it's a, yeah. a race to lock down the middle. Uh, clever, clever uh, players, depending on which heroes they're going up against, will read whether they want to go all in on the middle and see who comes out ahead, or if they want to just bypass it all together and hit the back line. And it's always a gamble if you're going to go for the middle that you're going to leave your back line open and exposed which is why that forge is so important. All right. Oh, Biz using a second to get into that forge. No idea how many units are in there. Svetan is in a doozer. That's and I would have saved my, to be I would have saved my second too for going uh, at the King of the Hill Tower, uh, be, playing Pixo. I would have much rather saved it for that because you can let them wither it down and then you can get yours in there right at the end very quickly all right now we're going to be seeing that pick so first battle for the king of the hill tower tons of units pouring in great capture on that top forge though yeah not going to be able to hold it though unfortunately and come not out. and now this is this is going to be a devastating push here oh um using that oh. second again to capture the forge oh just yeah, turning it over it its damage now here's the thing though those Downgrading those villages just by capturing them and recapturing them is going to be a ton of trouble. Yeah. And now there's the morale flip. And again, once again, we're going to be seeing a game of Frisbee with Pixos first. Then he's just doing a random, I'm going to go on an adventure and see if I can cap a building. He is definitely well practiced with Pixo. Like, he's, he's put his homework in. Absolutely. Could yeah. not agree more. And there's gravity. This is going to be GG because that's going to get rid of 60% roughly of those units here. Beautifully done, Visit. Beautiful. Very well yeah. done. Woo! Yeah, and he knew too. That's going to be a big GG. Biz going on to round number two in a 3 0 series. Well done. Well exactly. done. That is the Pixel gameplay. That is what it is. That's that's about all I can say, you know. Pixo, UFO. That's it. That's the Proteus mushroom style gameplay. All right. Wow. Honestly, very impressive. I I like that game. You know, it's not like Svetan was at a loss in any of the games. You know. Yeah. Had a lot of opportunity. Had a lot of time to do things. Um, but once Pixo started to, you know, gain that advantage, even just a little bit, those abilities started coming out. He was in a lot of trouble. He was in a lot of trouble. And that is hard to counter. What's what? Tell me, cheese, Vin, what is the counterplay to Pixo in your mind? How do you, how do you see 
turning the table on UFO spam? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> he's a a Pixo man, so he's not going to tell tell the secrets of how to beat Pixo. Well, Pixar. no, I do really like playing Pixo, but I, I still honestly haven't figured out if there is spam of the first, how to um, beat it. I mean, um, that is probably the toughest. You can't send units. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, that first does still generate morale for him, just like a tower. Is it that right? Sure does. I believe it so, generates the same as a you know, you know, a fourth level tower. Because I think it's the only. The only thing is to stop moving your units and focus on upgrading. But then you're not expanding, and either way, it's a catch twenty two. Yeah. Yeah, you are you're put at a halt essentially. Like yeah. every everything is is delayed. Um, I, I hate to say it, but that just sucks. <laughs> that, that is, that, that sucks. Like there's no, uh, there's no uh, shield. You, you might be able to argue that using, you know, some kind of uh, like a speed, like a, what is it? Uh, accelerate Lake or, or something to, to get out of the range of the tower might be able to help. Um, yeah. But even then that's, you know, not enough you're still going to be losing units you're still going to be increasing it increases morale correct me if i'm wrong but picks those first I think the devs the devs need to let kenners first also shoot down ufos yeah yeah you're right of course of course <laughs> yeah shooting down a ufo or you know if you've got a forge your shrooms will throw uh spears at the UFO. we're gonna need we're gonna need some ranged units here we're gonna <laughs> we're need gonna... Really, I think that's what this game is, <laughs> is ranged units. Yeah, we're going to hit some With ranged archers units. Archers and, you know, spear chuckers, you know? <laughs> the question is, how do you get rid of that? Because the units don't combat with each other. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Anyways. That's, and <laughs> that's, that's not my that's job. That's not our job. That's the dev's job. Yeah, no worries there. Um, it does look like we're going to be moving on to match nine actually which i believe is our first game in round two um it's gonna be i believe brk versus Enjoy. let me just refresh in inyoy in inyoy oh dash okay inyoy. or or dash yes this discord name is dash so it might be easier to call him dash than minyoy inyoy um, so then I know who that is, and I have played with them. So this could be actually a really good, um, really, really good fight here. All right, so give us all the info on Dash. Tell us everything from um, strategies to uh, uh, hero I choice. Played that much, um, but no, uh, <laughs> I, and it's been a while since I've played against him, so it'll be interesting to see which new heroes he's going to use. Yeah, Ooh. so... And I think he will choose based on map. I don't think he's going to play just one. I could be wrong, but so. I'm hoping we see some Moro today and definitely some Chia because yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I used to have a Chia pet when I was young. <laughs> Ch -ch 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 <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm a big Chia fan, you know? Chia right. seeds, you know, right? Chia seeds. Right? Yeah, uh, everything. I had Chia pets when I was a kid. I mean, I can't believe more people don't know what those are. I know. The so the for famous me, <laughs> Chia, I love Chia because Chia is just aggressive, just so aggressive. You got sleep, yes. you know, sleep is pretty much just a huge silence, but puts a delay on literally everything on your opponent's side. Um, uh, excuse me, boulders. No, it's a uh, rolling stones. Um, again, super aggressive, but you have to time it right, as I learned a few times playing against Cheese the other day, where if you just literally send rocks at a tower, nothing's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> and Totem of Rage, which is just a full aggro ability. Yeah. It's it's amazing. It's pretty much rage from... Uh, it's pretty much Aner's rage, but being your first. I think it's... Personally, it's very savage. Um... Maybe it's not as strong as Aner's Rage. I don't believe it is. Um, no, but you guys... first, it's the, it's the the relative equivalent first yes. third. That it's 
it's definitely good it's, like having an extra forge yeah absolutely just in that area so if you want to siege something you know you drop it down maybe you already have a forge so it runs double forge it's super aggressive love to see it you know pair your first with your second and you're, you're almost guaranteed to capture something with a unit overload as well um it's great i love chia let's talk more about chia so then you know chat slowly develops this Love Maybe we Chia? should play Chia. <laughs> it does look like we everybody have everybody in lobby. We got Dash versus BRK round two, game number one. All righty, let's do this. We got Klotz. We got Stella. I love me a good Klotz. I won't lie. Yeah. Klotz's uh, first turn coats. Is it going to be enough in this map? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh! No. Did he go? Did oh! He go? Did he go 100? No, he did he go he 100? He held. He held. He, he did. did. Well he played. Did. Well he played. Both sides. Oh, and he yeah. Got the other, the other forge. Ooh, when so out goes the turn coats. Yeah. yeah, that's that's yeah. gonna delay the production. Well Zero units coming out of there. GG, five second game. Very well done, Dash. Yeah, absolutely. Perfectly, perfectly times. That's it. You know, to be fair, uh, to be fair, the the strategy, um, excuse me, that BRK was coming out with, also a strong strategy. You know, to to cross over like that to to capture both the forge and you know your opponent's side is a good strategy it's mm -hmm. it's all comes down to timing it really it is. all comes it all comes down to timing oh lomi just showed up so all right i can already see him winning giveaways guys first yeah. time he tapped in chat he's already winning he already won already anyway. winning. i just oh, <laughs> I... Right away. Well, so far it's been alpaca dominating oh has it alpaca the alpaca man coming in hot in twitch chat today that's amazing you guys um thank you yvonne in chat reminding us of today's band maps congratulations to uh dash first game in round number two going over to dash very exciting um brk taking his first loss in today's tournament you know went 3-0 against nat davies in round number one now going 0-1 against dash it's going to be able to step up in game number two I'm, I'm hoping so, you know, like I'll say it time and time again, game number two will always be my favorite because that is when a developed strategy is likely going to be played. You know, people choosing a map that they like, the fact that we have none of the ridiculous map hazard maps um, <laughs> in today's tournament is a little bit of a oh, disappointment. I, I was but sad there was no fire maps. You know, I was I I couldn't agree more because I love the ridiculousness. But these guys are ready on Duplex Twenty Nine. Let's jump into the lobby right now, you guys. Bam. So we got a Trini. First Trini of the day. Pretty cheese. And um, that's, che that's so much cheese already. I can feel it. Uh, I loved me some Trini. But we got the Shimori tribe out here today. What's the strategy? What's the strategy? Center forge. Center, Center forge. forge. Expand. Yeah. Don't over upgrade. Uh, back forge. So you can get two forges and then an aggressive push. Yeah. And BRK is going right for it. So he's going to be behind on production. So it'll be interesting to see how he's able to uh, combat that. He did feed a fair bit of units into it right away. We're seeing um, Dash countering right away. He saw, uh-oh, I'm losing that forge. Quickly builds his own. Great, great, yeah. great play. You know, great strategy. Counter forge with counter forge. They're going to see that nice. freeze. Please. Oh, so nasty. Trini, I haven't seen her at all. Last tournament, oh. she wasn't included, and now, yeah. ooh, I forgot about that. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, from speaking from first-hand experience, getting to the forge first isn't always the brightest idea unless you have no. the unit production to back it up. Absolutely. Oh, and that was just filthy. And now Dash is going to be having a huge advantage here. Look at the unit production difference right now. Silence. Not enough. 
Not enough. Not enough. And there's that freeze again. It's up. Oh, not being enough units to be able to capture that village in the center there. Pretty good chance. Nasty. Big push. Going in. Oh, the fourth is up. Trees in perfect nice timing. Nice steal. Perfect timing. Very nice steal. He tried to get that. in there before uh, treason came available. Just wasn't quite quick enough. This BRK ready for a comeback here after it. Oh, third level freeze. Nice Just ring of frost. Barely holding on to that. That was a good oh, reaction now, time there. Huge push now coming in from Dash. Going to be able to hold on. And that freeze again. You know... Those this cowards is... are killing their morale. And Dash has, <laughs> Dash has the troop production, though, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be really, really tough for BRK to come back from this. Tower. Oh, not, so not enough for the tower. Still holding on, though. See, BRK doing a good job. Even playing from behind still has a lot of room to turn this around. Just can't see any mistakes going out right now. We have Dash sitting on all of his abilities. Oh no. Looking for the back line. He knows he's feeding <laughs> tons of units out. He knows he's sending tons of units out. Treason oh. had to defend with Treason. Very comfortable play. Yeah, but he's down his fourth. That was a Look at the morale attack. difference. Yeah. Gonna be able to hold on to that double forge, still not being enough to push down this middle village. Oh, Big push. Difference. Oh no! Yeah, that morale silence goes killer. out. That's... I know. I really oh. needed that other tower badly. All right, now we're gonna be seeing some aggression from Dash, or excuse me, BRK here. BRK, yeah. Is he gonna be able to turn this around? This is a very, this is an excellent game so far. This middle forge is just back and forth right now. Oh, defense decrease coming in from the cell. Oh, Ring of Frost no. going out too. Oh no. And now here comes another hefty push. Gonna be able to fortify that middle village. It looks like BRK is on the aggression here. That's yeah. game. That nice turnaround, great. BRK. Very, very nice turnaround. <laughs> Cool. There it is! Yeah. Look at that! GG coming up from Dash, being able to hold everything, increasing that morale. You know, he wasn't sending any units to, you know, die underneath the tower. Dash was sending so many units on the north side, running through that tower, killing his morale. You know, maybe building his mana, but that wasn't, that wasn't enough. Yeah, it was, uh, I think he needed to uh, hold instead of running through the tower so much like he did yeah killed his morale killed Absolutely. his morale. murdered it Obviously. and then being able to hold you know using that defensive treason not sacrificing any units increasing morale upgrading you know constantly losing towers being able to upgrade them again i don't that I, I, like the turnaround was so good it was so exciting what? to see you know he maybe lost 60 percent of that map 66 percent of the map at one point and going from 33 percent all the way to 100 was just like oh yeah. That was hard. That was hard. Best games to watch. That right? was amazing. What a great comeback! And see, that was the thing. He didn't make those. No mistakes were made during that comeback that I personally saw. I don't know if you guys saw anything that was like, "Ooh, we could have done that a little better." Hey, the only thing I questioned was the use of the trees and unnecessarily, yeah. but obviously the defense won the game without losing anything. So. I probably would have moved troops in the back and saved the treason for somewhere out front, which would have been more crucial to holding that forge or capping it or, you know, um, but, you know, using my first to generate more troop count at the back, moving troops around. Uh, that was a great game. That's going, we're going into game number three, going 1-1 one, one for both BRK and Dash here. Uh, looks like we have everybody in the lobby. We got Duplex 17, I believe, on Conquest. Let's jump into the lobby right now for you guys. Is that is that the Zik play? Yeah, but I didn't Ooh. see it. 
I don't. This is it. not. This is not game point this though. Not, no, right. This isn't because it's uh. It's one uh, one currently. A first one one today, I believe. Yes. The first be an interesting one matchup. One. Rudo versus Zigba. This yeah. is gonna be. I. Yeah, so exactly green how has advantage on this map. Like this. Oh like, no, that's shift. that's it. Unit generation shift. Or not that's generation, it. count shift. Ooh, yeah. I'm sending just enough units to get that tower. So Don't he's go gonna push. Go I think he's gonna push for the fourth now, so he's gonna try and kill yeah. troops as fast as possible. Yeah, this is gonna be. He has to have troops to kill troops, and he lost <laughs> a lot from that push. Yeah. Um, but this is why green is just a hair closer on this map. So... Mm, yeah. Again, it comes down to timing, though. It, it does. He's well balanced. Benji going out right away. Yeah. He was ready for it. He was. Balanced his units perfectly. He knew exactly, exactly what BRK's strategy was there, you know, going into that as soon as he took, as soon as he won the forge battle, he said, "Okay, now I need to balance my units. A ninja's coming." Here's where his push is. I mean, that's is there no there. defense there, and that's going to be tons of units sent in over there. And now it's just going to be full-on aggression from Dash here. Yeah. It looks like he's going to be taking this series two-one going into match number four, or game number four. Sorry. Very well done. It's gonna be just a little, just and that's. Abilities, didn't he? Uh, you're correct. That was all. No that was challenge. That was no done. ability challenge. Yeah. Yep. Right yep. You did it. All right, BRK. Are you gonna be showing us what you got going into game number four? Currently, match point, king of the hill, but on BRK's side of, uh, he gets to choose the map. He's he's the decision deciding factor here. Does he have a strategy for king of the hill? Or did we already see a strategy? Maybe, I don't know, yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see what map gets chosen. Uh, where is he strong? Is he gonna stick to Stella or Rudo? Because it looks like those are the only two heroes he's playing. That's true, I didn't notice that. Great observation, yes. So. Estella is strong, I'll give him that. He, is, he has definitely done some major things with Stella. Mm-hmm. So, you know, is he going to go back to Stella? Because he's done better with Stella against Dash? I don't know. This is match point, though. Quick reminder to everybody in chat and playing in today's tournament that match point does have to be played on King of the Hill. I'm going to be saying it as often as possible to remind people because I do not want to have to disqualify anybody for a mistake because it's so awkward. Um, but don't it does look like... That. No, no. <laughs> uh, looks like these guys are ready on Duplex 6. Let's jump in right now. Alright, here we go. We do have the cell. Oh, the nasty Trini pick. I'm gonna oh she's oh ooh, just gives me shivers with that with those. But BRK freezes. did beat Trini on the last one. You're right, you're right. So we're gonna be seeing a very a very familiar start that we see time and time again on this map. Duplex X being personally one of my favorites. Um just you see so many different strategies uh come out different heroes played there's a lot to be said about it we have trini with her bees being able to fly over the river um i love this map there's so much to be said about it nobody's going for an early forge Fosse is disappointed yeah on this one i don't normally go for an early forge right away either i try to keep my production up until i've got some buildings but i don't push hard at them either right so I just try. Yeah, you're to, not going for an early kill. It's a big I'm map. Not going, yeah, it's a big map. There's lots of time. Forge comes out once we're going for King of the Hill Towers. Oh, there's oh there's treason comes out. There's the forge. forge which means he's now. Unit production increase. Gonna be able to hold that. Oh, BRK, absolutely filthy treason on the north side of the map there. Yeah. I'm still gonna be able to hold this dash in trouble here. Does have his freeze up, building his first forge now as well. What are we gonna see here? BRK out of mana. Down in the bottom. 
All right, now we're going to be seeing that the OK says, listen, I want my village Wait, back. You see a Drop freeze? that tornado. No, the silence is already up. It can't oh, do it. Oh, nice silence. And there it is. Oh, absolutely filthy. Going to be first to capture King of the Hill Tower and pretty much dominate the north side of the map now. The head on production now, and it's it's going to be very, very tough. Oh, there's the tornado. That's going to be devastating. Be a lost tower. Yeah. Oh. My goodness, that is good. That absolutely that wiped right out hundred percent of the mushrooms going into that tower, and still doing it. Oh. All right, we're gonna be seeing our energy rush now. Brk has a big advantage, you know. If you drop that tornado on that log just a little farther back, he could have swooped in for that tower steal. See, now this is a tough position. Dash needs to capture that King of the Hill Tower because if this becomes a standstill because BRK captured his first, yeah, there's he's in the lead already. So Dash is now pressured. BRK just needs to defend. That's all he needs to do. He can stall this entire game, but now Dash is the one who says, I have, he has more room for mistakes because he has to be the aggressor. Big push with the trees and not. The silence going out as well. Nope. Nicely balanced, BRK. Very well done. I'm gonna be able to hold that. Might be losing his upper village. But he'll get it back. Get it? Oh, no, he won't. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh just stuck right in there. So he's gonna be losing the unit production from that village, which isn't the end of the world. You know, dropping the fourth on it is still not gonna be helping Dash claim that King of the Hill Tower that he so desperately needs right now. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Now we're going to be seeing, of course, BRK upgrading his turrets, you know, increasing his defense, solidifying it. And he's going to walk right through his line here. Oh man, and silence is up, but we are probably going to see a ring of frost. Yeah. And that okay. is... Treason... Yeah. That does look like games. Too many units on that back end here. The upgrade downgrade going on right now. Still even underneath that village. We're gonna be seeing, look at the morale right now from oh, BRK. Yeah, That's gonna be GG dash BRK going into our first game five of the day. First wow. game five. That is exciting. Wow. That is so exciting. And so far it's gone map selection wins game. Is how we've seen it. Mm -hmm. Aside from the first, which is you know that's 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 our choice. You know we get a, we as as the as the staff and as the tournament directors we get to choose the first map. Um, but now we saw game two, game two I believe went over to Dash or excuse me, um, BRK. BRK. Game three went over to Dash. Game four, BRK. Is game five going to go to Dash? Because he does get map selection. He does. So it'll be interesting to see how it finishes out here. That was excellent. Really great game number four, you guys. Going into game number five, uh, again, this does have to be King of the Hill. Looks like Dash is going to be picking Duplex 18, I believe. We're just waiting on some of our other spectators to join us in the lobby here. And we're going to be jumping into lobby right now for you guys. All right, here we go. Duplex 18. We're going to be seeing Dash dropping in on Claws. BRK on Stella. He's done great with Stella. We've seen the work done with Stella. Very excellent uses like of the silence. Doing, That's filthy. It's very true. <laughs> Claws, and especially being its king of the hill, can ruin production rates quickly. Such low unit costs right away, too. I'm going for the metal forge together. That's the timing. Oh. Clot's going to be taking that metal forge. That's going to be King of the Hill Tower. Going to be trading in for that forge. Going to be swapped right out. And see, that King of the Hill Tower's production cost is oh, so high. The first on the first. 
The first on the first. Detrimental. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be GG for sure. It really is. There's gonna be nothing BRK can do to stop that. The first on the first. Unit production uh, on zero unit production. Nicely done. He had a, definitely had a plan on that map. Absolutely. Yep. Clots, great pick. You know, Stella, not a not a bad choice. I'll, you know, I'll say not not the worst choice you could have made, but unfortunately, BRK, you're going to be added from today's tournament. Congratulations for making it on to, uh, I guess, round number two of day number two. Getting this far is, is that's great. It's impressive. You know? It's great. It is impressive. It's um, very I think impressive. BRK played very well between yesterday and today. So, you know, um, he just got outplayed today on match five it came down to all five so that's happy i'd be happy to lose that way i yeah. would be i would agree i would agree to get into game number five to go so far like that that's that's great uh Impressive. congratulations dash you're going to be moving on to round number three um it does look like we do have game number 10 or yeah game number 10 set up for you guys that is asveril versus sanchez mc I personally, I've seen Azrael, I believe, in some of her past tournaments. Yep. Not too familiar with Sanchez. Um, so, I don't know. Do you guys have any info on Sanchez at all, by chance? None. None. That makes us exciting. We're, We're all going to get our first look here when the game loads. <laughs> <laughs> when we watch the first one, we'll get information, and hopefully we'll be able to figure out something from there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do know Asriel. So, what can you tell? What can you tell people, uh, our viewers watching right now, about Asriel without giving away too much information? Matt, you take this one. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I, don't like that. I haven't, I haven't played with them much. It's really yeah. hard for me to, uh, to not put my foot in my mouth because I can't give a good assessment uh, without having that experience of having spent that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Well. So, uh, Peter, how about this? All right. I'll start with this. He's 14th on the leaderboard. Oh, excellent. So his That's a good start. is 5387, and he's number 14. Okay. So, you know, we've got a really good player coming into this match. That is rather impressive. Although, yes. They might, Asriel might be a great player, but to join today's tournament, you had to have a win rate of less than 70%. So, He's good player, yes. Win rate? Eh. Win rate's not an excellent uh, gauge of <laughs> yeah. skill, to be fair. Yeah, because right. overall, right? I mean, he's got, you know, over, you know, 5,800 matches played. Um, how many of his last, you know, 236 hours in match? So, how many of his recent hours were spent to get to there. I like how you have his player card up right now there, Jeez, I love that. <laughs> well, I knew he was on the leaderboard. I just couldn't remember what his place was. So it was easy for me to go and look him up. Yeah. So, you know, but you know, a 60% win rate is actually pretty good. Let's find out how accurate that is going to be. Is he going to go, what's the score going to be like? 3-1 maybe? 60% win rate? I mean, that's 75%, but... You know, it's going to be tough unless this goes into game number five, then it'd be absolutely perfect. You know, three, two. Right. How, what's the, let's see how accurate that win and rate I don't know is. Sanchez, so it's really hard for me to uh, say, is this going to go to five games? Is this going to be a blowout? Like, I don't know because I don't know this player. You're right. You're right. So it looks like we have mostly everybody in the lobby, but while we wait for Vimblane to join us, we got Azrael and Sanchez on Duplex 58, game number one. Let's do this, you guys. All right, so I've never seen that border around a player before, player's avatar. Mm. What is, what, can can you guys give me some oh, info on that? Yeah. He did a, uh, a puzzle that was on Discord, uh, collecting images across the different uh, social media platforms for Mushroom Wars. 
and then putting them together into an actual picture that the puzzle pieces are made. And there were 10 people, I believe, who were rewarded that avatar frame, the first 10 to solve the, the puzzle. Because that is a beautiful avatar frame. Anyways, yeah. we got Azrael on Klotz and Sanchez on Stella. Not a lot of new heroes yet today. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen some Moros and Chias. And oh, this is interesting. Oh, yes. Oh, this is... Oh. Back end, sitting back. Both of them are hitting each other. Oh, the timing? Reinforce How's the timing? Asriel. Asriel's got the and time. The and, there's, and there's the clots. He's not going to hold it. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. Asriel. Yeah. It. it was... That's going to be GG Sanchez. A little bit of a crying tears emote coming out. First game going over to Azrael. So he far, he's so got a 100% win rate. He's got a 100% win rate right now. 100% win rate. We're Look just at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he All didn't right. even bother reinforcing his uh, level 5. He was just like, meh, I got this. <laughs> there you go. That was, you know, congratulations, Azrael, taking game number one in this best of five series. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Sanchez, though, it's his pick. Is this going to be it? I'm feeling game number two. Strategy. Here he comes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Sanchez is like, ooh, ooh, I got this. I understand your play style now. Just kidding. Duplex 58, way too quick of a way too quick of a map to be like, I know how you play. I understand. I don't think so. Yeah, the maps that start with a fight for the forge are my least favorite maps. Um. <laughs> You just got to play more Chia. And then you I always like have maps in general. I always have a forge. I like, I like the game to last a little bit. Okay, so tell, here here's a question for you guys. Duplex 19, new heroes only. What's the play? Duplex 19? Yeah, I'm going to look at which map that is. I, I believe that's, that's the, the only forges. Oh. That's yes. the one oh. map with... Oh, <laughs> the hero. one with uh, <laughs> new heroes only. What is the play? Pixo spamming the Pixo. first. Pixo. All right. All right. All right. You heard it here, guys. If you have the new expansion and you're in today's tournament, Duplex 19 Pixo. We'll see how it goes. Mind um, you, but... Moro could be interesting too. So you're right. Spamming first. I mean, you can take away some advantage for sure. All right, these guys. Sanchez looking like he wants to play on duplex three. Duplex yeah. three. And I guess let's this jump right fun. into the lobby, you guys. Oh, mirror match? First mirror match of the day? Mirror match, yes. First mirror match of the day. Excellent, excellent. Exciting. Yeah. I really like this map on Domination and King of the Hill, though, too. It's a lot of fun. All right. So, Forges. Oh, yeah. They'll be going for Forges real early. Forges. But first, you need production. It looks like we have a gentleman's agreement here. One's going north, one's going south. Oh, oh. Was oh. a liar of me. Oh, no, but... Oh, you miss must have misclicked. Misclick. Oh, absolutely. That was punishing. It's going to be a lot of trouble. So now it is a gentleman's agreement. One's just a little more behind than before. No, he's still going for it, though. Uh-oh. Sanchez is Sanchez hungry. Sanchez wants that. Wants that forge. And he's going to get it, too. But now we're going to see the other push. one lost. The other one lost. Yep. Unit production going over to Azrael here. Treason coming out. Just a little baby treason, though. Double treason. Oh, oh my god, treason. treason! Oh, no. A treason on a treason. Not going to be able to get that village in the south either. Going to be able to fortify the bottom side of the map right now for Sanchez. Sanchez pushing hard in the north side as well here. But look at all these units on the top side for Azrael. Oh, I'm just getting punished, both of them, on morale by those towers. Yeah, those towers. I feel like mirror matches toy with my emotions. That's why I like them so much. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Another push coming in from oh, Sanchez. No. Kind of a little bit of a probe. We're going to be seeing an upgrade, actually, in the bottom side here. A little bit ballsy, I would say, for sure. Spending those units. Defense decrease coming out from Azrael. Great choice. 
And now it's uh, it's gonna slow down a little bit here now. Quiet down. We're gonna lose some of this shooting in our ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big push from Sanchez here, trying to get that top forge again. Not gonna be able to take it. Not gonna be able to get the village either. Trying to get that tower before treason's up again. Oh, defense decrease, miss click from Sanchez. Way behind. No units there to be able to attack during the defense decrease. Now we're gonna be seeing energy pressure on top. Both players can be getting their treason right away as well. But it does look like Azrael has the lead right now. Oh, yes. Looks like Sanchez is suffering a lot of misclicks, actually. Yeah. He does seem a bit panicked, almost, is what it seems like. Almost, yeah. Um, or he's having some touch issues on his device. Yeah, and he's giving away oh, morale. Just barely. Oh, really, really hard when you're down on morale, yeah. Oh no, and that bottom forge not fortified at all. Tons of units pouring into that tower now. Gonna be even increasing his morale more. Treason, treason, double treason. Double treason. And having three towers is just gonna punish. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, four, absolutely, four. And the forges. Yep, and that's gonna be GG for Sanchez. Absolutely not gonna be able to defend from this. Yeah. As for real, not just a pretty avatar frame. <laughs> <laughs> Sanchez is a little bit frustrated right now. Gonna be going into game number three right away here for you guys. <laughs> a little bit of a cheese from Azrael using defense decrease there. All right. Congratulations, Azrael, winning game number two. This is going to be match point for Azrael. Going to be a reminder, you guys, it has to be played on King of the Hill during match points. Um, and these are all best of fives games. So if you do have two wins, please remind your, your opponents to switch to King of the Hill. It's very important. Switch it to King of the Hill. Switch it to King of the Hill. I can't believe it's not a King of the Hill map yet. I'm I'm also surprised. Wow, what are, what are, what are we waiting for? Where's King of the Hill? You know, it's funny when uh, me and some of us play together. We we always get we're always like miss playing King of the Hill or domination maps, so we'll always choose those game modes because when you're playing random games, you get mostly conquest, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you still get some King of the Hill and domination, but that's all we'll play when we're just you know doing some custom games together, some custom parties. <laughs> custom parties right it's a i agree nice change in the dynamic yeah mix things up a little bit keep things fresh right yeah yeah because it's definitely a change of tactics you get used to doing the same map openers every time and when you are in a ranked game in particular you have to stop and think oh wait what do i do on this map because i haven't practiced <laughs> this move. yeah <laughs> so absolutely yeah absolutely here yeah so let's see if Sanchez switches this into King of the Hill, and we're going to be jumping into the lobby right now, you guys. Oh! Oh! oh. Is that gonna? Is that the play? Cha 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 chia. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, no, yes. oh, yes. Chia. Come yes. on, come on. Ch Lock it in. Chia. All right. Yes. This yes. is exciting all of a sudden. Our first Chia today. Well, streamed Chia. And now we got Chia versus Stella, the Shimori tribes on King of the Hill. Let's, Let's keep see this how this match is so much fun on King of the Hill. I couldn't agree more. I love she has dynamic on this map too. Both going for that forge. But uh, looks oh, like yeah. as for real has the uh numbers. Oh, and oh. there it is! Not Total enough. range! Oh, oh, no, that's not enough! No! It's not gonna be enough! I don't no. think so. oh, Pouring no. in those units, get in there! Oh no! Sanchez I'm being lucky. able to hold that. Wow. Gonna be feeding in tons of units there now as well. Tons of morale too. Holding on to that. Oh no. Oh As no. A little bit of trouble now. Total rage again on the north side, but losing so well. Well done, Sanchez. Good Very job. 
taking advantage of that early. And look Push. at this now. I'm gonna be losing so many, so much of the backline here now. I don't think Azrael has what it takes, but we do have a sandstorm up. Are we gonna see it? No, it's gonna be G G. Looks well like done, Sanchez. Taking well it. Well done, Sanchez. That was very nicely played. Taking game number three, going over to Sanchez now. Currently two one for Azrael. Still, Sanchez, you got a long way to climb. So great man. Now, if I was Chia, the way I probably would have played that is I would have let him have that forge. I would have expanded to get production, built my own forge, and used rolling stones on that middle forge. Oh yeah, absolutely. To take that, to take yep. that away from him, you know? I I would see, I would say that would probably be the play against uh, against Estella too, with not, not too much being able to defend against that um, in Stella's kit, aside from silence, but that's if, you know, Sanchez could know have coming. It. Yeah, he, if he could have predicted it all. But we're going to be going on to game number four. It's currently 2 1 for Asvaril. Again, they're going to be playing on King of the Hill, and it looks like we have them on Duplex 8. So let's join them in game, you guys. Oh. Got pixel. pixel. We got Pixo. And we got Estella again. All right, Sanchez looking really keen on that Stella gameplay. Absolutely understand where he's coming from because Stella is also one of my favorite heroes. Yes. Okay. All right. So, are my master analysts here? What's the play? King of the Hill, expand <laughs> as quick as possible, build a forge, and go. Forge. Yeah, this yeah. is a great, we've talked about this in past tournaments, a great map for a test of skill. Because uh, it's it's a game of how fast you can expand and upgrade, and how well you know the map to make the, the most efficient movements early on to get an we any advantage. Yeah, we already saw a misclick from Sanchez there. I don't know if you guys caught that, but unable to capture one of his villages, sending in too many or not enough units right away. Forge. Oh, this is so cheap. And there goes the tower. It's going to be double tower. Big push now. He's gonna lose his forge. Yeah. yeah he's not gonna be able to keep it. Or maybe he will. Gravity oh. going up now. Yeah. Look at this. Now Azrael just dominating the back end of things. Gonna be killing off roughly 60% of those units again. Wow, well, it's you know 60% of 30 units or 40 units. Hang of the hill. Yeah, it's too around. much. And here, here, alright. Alright, are you guys? Are you guys Oh no, this wasn't game five. I was so excited. I was like, game five, 60% win rate. Azrael showing up today with a 75% win rate. <laughs> Very well done. 75%. You're you you know you are doing you're doing well. You're doing well for yourself there. Uh congratulations though, Azrael gonna be moving on to round number three. Unfortunately, Sanchez gonna be outed from today's tournament, but don't give up yet. If you still want a chance at some prizes, we are gonna be doing a mega giveaway for you guys shortly here and we have a lot of really great things planned for you in chat as well we do have a mega, mega giveaway planned mega? yeah i How think it's this mega like is it like this big or is it like is it like blow up your head big it's like if you've ever watched digimon it's like more than ultra <laughs> so well, i'd have to loosen like the strap on my hat because it's that mega yeah, mega, absolutely mega. We're gonna be doing our first mega giveaway for you guys. Um, let's let's yeah, let's get it let's get it to you here. Our first mega giveaway prize is gonna be Warhammer Vermintide Two, uh, the collector's edition. Our lovely uh, staff um, is gonna be giving us all the details. I think right here, right right on this side of me here. That's uh, that's gonna be the trailer running for Warhammer Vermintide Two, the collector's edition. What it wow, it looks. Wow, that's amazing. That looks wow. I can't wait to give that away. Um, all right, so how it works, you guys, for the mega giveaway is I'm going to be asking you guys a question. First person in chat to answer the question correctly is going to be going home with Warhammer Vermintide 2 Collector's Edition. Or if you're already home, you're going to be staying at home with Warhammer Vermintide 2 the Collector's Edition. 
All right. So the question is, what is the English translation of Vin Blaine's name? If somebody can give me the English translation of Vin Blaine's name, uh, you guys are going to go home with Warhammer Vermintide 2. Uh, the collector's edition. Now, I'm not expecting anybody to go into Google Translate and type in Vinblain, but depending on how fast you can type, um, mm -hmm. you know, that's uh, that's one way to do it. Other people who might know Vinblain, I'm looking at, you know, maybe Lomi or Alpaca or anybody in chat might be able to uh, tell us as well. Um, it's great because I can see Vinblain's face right now and he's got a big smile on it. He's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, he's a little flustered, maybe. Um, once again, you guys, what is the English translation of Vin Blaine's name? Uh, we're just waiting for the answer in chat, you guys. Thanks again for everybody who's participating in today's tournament and in today's giveaways. Um, I'm really excited to, um, you know, give you guys some more games. Like, uh, we also have Rapture Rejects, which are going to be giving away on stream, as well as Yakuza Zero. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to give this stuff away to you guys. Don't forget, we have a lot of giveaways in chat as well. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody participating in today's tournament and who participated in yesterday's tournament and is still kicking around today to find out what's going on, what are some strategies I can learn. We have beautiful people here in chat um, who are always comfortable and ready to give you guys an opportunity to learn. I know Vin Blaine and Cheeseburger are kind of, you just call them sensei from now on maybe. As, no. you know, <laughs> Sensei Cheeseburger uh yeah that's that sounds great uh these guys are always willing to teach you guys stuff if anybody ever wants to learn something new you can catch us in the discord for mushroom wars too um people in there are so friendly and so kind so thanks again for participating in today's giveaway we're just waiting for the answer in chat again and i believe we are going to be streaming match number 11 for you guys next yeah i think that's the one we're doing i guess i should uh that is going to be Biz against Vibana. Oh, yes. So we'll have yes. a good game here, I think, between these two. Yeah, absolutely. I like we've saw we saw Biz a lot, so I yeah. hope uh Bana is ready to uh you know counter. I think, he is. I think we're gonna see real I think we'll, I think we so. might go five games on this one. You know, That's... I've seen Vibana play. Um and now I that I've seen Biz play. I think we're going to see five games. Quick reminder to everybody in chat right now about the question because we haven't had the answer yet. I'm looking for the English translation of Vim Blaine's name. That is going to be again for Warhammer Vermintide 2. You guys are welcome to answer this question any part during today's stream. If we don't see the answer yet, we'll of course repeat the question for anybody who wants to keep giving it a try. That sounds great. As soon as we see the answer in chat, you guys, I'll be letting you know. Um, our lovely Twitch staff will be letting you know um, as well. Uh, who Who's going to be going home with Warhammer Vermintide to the Collector's Edition? Again, one more time. What is the English translation of Vin Blaine's name? Mm -hmm. What is it? And I think I think we'll leave that up to Vin Blaine to decide... Uh, I think we got a right answer already. I think oh. I think we I think we I think that is the right answer. I believe you. I think Kickheart got it. I think Kickheart got it. I think I think that is. I'm gonna Google it right now here. Vin Blaine. Oh, that's just okay. a bunch of mushroom or two. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I came up. Nicely done, Kickheart. Excellent well done, work. Yes, it does translate to wind dark or dark wind. Um very, very well done. Yay! So I guess, I guess on that note, Vin Blaine, tell us a little, tell, tell us a little bit about that. Why, why Darkwind? Why Vin? Uh, the boring story is that uh, when I was twelve years old, thirteen years old, first getting on the internet, I got tired of having to change usernames, and I finally pulled out my Norse mythology book and said, "Dang it, I'm going to pick a name that nobody else has." And Vin Blaine was the first one I found that I couldn't find a Google search on. You have a Norse mythology book. I have like four of them. When you were 12? Yeah. 
You're right. That is a. You need to see my library. I read a lot of mythology. <laughs> that is a well, poor twelve-year-old Vin Blaine reading Norse mythology books instead of playing Pokemon. Oh boy. Um, you sounds like you had a great childhood. That's great. I love it. You're already smarter than me. I actually don't know Norse mythology like at all. The only Norse mythology the, uh... I know is uh, God of War Four. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's about all I got for you. All right, perfect. So we're going to be jumping into the lobby right away here, you guys. Quick reminder: and who's playing? We got Bizich against Zvebana. Um, Cheeseburger believes this is going to go into game number five. I believe this is going to go into game one to five, probably. Uh, well, we're getting game one to three, <laughs> no matter what, so you can't choose all five numbers. <laughs> Joke is on you. We're starting the <laughs> lobby, and we're going to jump in right now, you guys. I do believe yes. that we had a little bit of a technical difficulty setting up that lobby. So apologies guys, it's gonna be taking us one more second to get us started. I'm not sure if there was a disconnect or what have you, but I believe a majority of us were kicked from the lobby. Um, so we're gonna be getting that back at you guys in just a second. Sorry for the delay and congratulations again to Kickheart for winning uh, Warhammer Vermintide 2, the collector's edition. Does look like we have everybody in the lobby again, though. So we're going to be jumping into that game one more time. All right. So just waiting on Svimana. He's got that overpowered noobs. Mushroom Wars 2 Avatar Border. It's fancy. It's got a ribbon. Looks great. Looks uh, Don't know if uh, everybody wants it, but if you do well in our tournaments, you can uh, maybe we'll get you one of those and we'll uh, see how this is going. I knew we were going to see the Pixo again. I knew it absolutely. Svavana dropping in the Onk. Nasty. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how this goes with the Onk. Hey, Onk is a tough one on, on a quick map like this because you have to really get a second available to make use of him. All right, so Svobana doing, doing the quick work in and out. The oh, first oh, level Pixo not going to be able to do it. And look at that. Pixo second going in, swapping out those two. That, ooh, having zero oh. unit connection on the left side. Oh. That's okay. He's got the right side. He's got the whole right side. So now this is going to be, and here's a, this is a very big deal. Svobana has a ton yeah. of unit production. <laughs> Like, we're talking about time. And it takes time to upgrade those level ones. Oh, it takes so much time. Svobana's got a huge lead right now. And this is interesting because we haven't seen this yet at all. And this is really great because now Duplex 58 has become a game. It's not a rush. It's about to be a rush. <laughs> it's about to be a rush. The unit difference is absolutely <laughs> devastating. But who knows? Who knows how this being a good sport about it? He's like, no, I'll let you upgrade. I'll give you a shot. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, or not. Here it comes. This is gonna be we're gonna just be seeing a devastating push. Gonna be capturing those villages, downgrading them to ones again. And Biz, first loss of the day. Going over to Svabana. Woo! That was exciting. Pixo. Maybe you know, and that was a thing. Savannah got those towers, got got the objectives quick enough before that first came out, and when that first came out, nothing. It did nothing. There was there was no mushrooms for the UFO to blast. Right. So it just went out. You know, maybe Savannah waved at it a little bit. They hid in their huts and waited for the UFO to fly away. And... Yeah. And then <laughs> just continued to devastate the game. Well, congratulations, Savannah, winning the first game. Um, very well done. Very very well done extremely exciting match um first time we saw duplex 58 last longer than 10 seconds so i enjoyed it uh gonna yeah. be going on to game number two here it looks like biz is choosing duplex four and let's jump into that game right now for you guys All 
right? So I'm I'm assuming Biz is gonna be dropping Pixo again. And is Svavana oh, yeah. an Ankh main? Is that? Is that the no? What Trini? 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 Yeah, great, great pick. Trini on I believe what map is this? Did they choose Duplex Four? Yeah. This is a this is a hoot and a holler of a map. <laughs> this is a this is a. I like Trini on this map because bees. Well, yeah, she's, she's not using the uh, the bees here. She's not. Or not avoiding the cheese of jumping that barrier it looks like and making it yeah, a game skill and see you gotta you gotta jump i believe you should be jumping because you can't you can't delay yourself and here's the jump yeah oh, oh misfire oh, miss click go Clicked wait too three. many times Unlucky. one click <laughs> oh no now gonna be so far behind because that ufo more of a defensive UFO, I believe. Absolutely. And see, now we're gonna see a quadruple forge. Oh. And Gravity going up. Oh my god, Biz is like, hey, you made a mistake. I'm just gonna take the win here. Look at this absolute cheese. We did learn the other day that you cannot use gravity. Gravity will stall the units. But if you place a UFO over the gravity units, it will not shoot the units out of the air. No. We learned that the other day because I tried that on Cheeseburger and it definitely did not work. And I'm going to credit that to me losing that match. <laughs> but yeah, Zvabana here is is in, a, in, a, in, in for a world of hurt. Yeah, and you can't put Trini's first on that UFO, unfortunately. No. That would be interesting, devs, if you're listening. That would help. That, that would help. You can freeze oh, counters first. Just saying. <laughs> Something needs to be done. That thing, that is devastating. All right, where's the, where are the bees going here? He's clicked multiple times again. Just cheese in. That looks like it was a Hail Mary anyway. Yeah, it was. Yep. Svabana going to be losing that match. Going into game number three, currently 1-1 one, one for Biz and Svabana. Going into game number three here. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out between these players. So far, great games. Great games. Nothing to complain yeah, that, about here. A couple misclicks. That beehive might have made a difference. Uh, just that one misfire. Oh, yeah, because you clicked more than once. And you can only click once with beehive where you want them to go. Yeah, see if had the beehives made it and we saw some village captures on the north side, um, it would have been a totally different game if you didn't totally, miss totally, totally, yeah, it would have game. it would have delayed Bizich's expansion into the forges and the tower, uh, yeah. given the Vibana enough time to do his own expansion. And choosing Trini in that map, you know, not just having the beaches, but to avoid. We saw Biz, he, he put that UFO on the aggressive side of things to deny the push through, you know, you'd have to walk through not only the UFO, but also the tower, removing your units, not being able to get past that. So having those bees to cross over is huge because you're, you're avoiding a loss on, you know, if you can't expand forward, expand upward. And it, it would have helped because, you know, for one, you'd get more unit production. You de deny business unit production and then he would have had two places to put a ufo instead of going just in one area he'd have to go up or down based on where the aggression was so in my opinion trini was the right pick but the misfires was the problem all right so it does look like we're just waiting for some invites to jump into game number three i'm looking forward to this i'm liking i'm liking seeing the pixel because i'm learning a lot and how to deal with that. I don't know if you guys feel the same way at all, but I, I liked seeing that pick as often as possible because then it's like, how, what, what are the countermeasures here? And obviously it's very map dependent, but how can we deal with it as players ourselves? And, you know, how are, how are viewers in chat learning to deal with it? Mm-hmm. 
that's to me the most fun part of the tournament is getting to see something a uh, strategy or, or defense that i hadn't thought of on my own uh and almost every time i get to see somebody pull a new rabbit out of the hat that i didn't see coming so hopefully we'll see a few surprises it is a little upsetting that the first chia game we saw was also chia loss <laughs> that, that hurts <laughs> <laughs> a little bit um because we haven't seen we haven't seen uh any moros or we haven't seen any uh wilfords yet so yeah I, i'm surprised i really thought there'd be like a a rash of moros being cheesed cheesed on us yeah unholy right. attack moros first is is quite unholy you know that is is so rude it is so rude yeah. I saw uh, in Discord there were people uh, researching which maps were small enough that if they had to choose a map that they would be able to use Moro on to get an easy win with his first alone. All right, so it looks like we have everybody ready, and we're going to be jumping into Duplex 8 with Ankh versus Pixo. So Biz with a little bit of a misfire. Just gonna be losing like one extra unit there just because of his unit um, decision. Um, but this this is good. Oh no. So Biz is definitely making a couple of mistakes. There's a Von Bana obviously has a little more knowledge, a little more skill here. Switching out into interesting though with the warp. Oh, nice cover with the invincibility. Yeah, he uh, anticipated that very well. Very yeah. well. Very well. This is a little bit tricky. Not going to be able to... Still defending the forge here. Biz in a lot of trouble here. He needs a forge desperately. You can tell Savavana. And he's just sending units in that upper village. You know, he's trying to expand, but Savavana not giving him any opportunities. Making him focus on defense rather than expansion. Um, and with that forge up, you know, Biz is kind of tunneling. You know, he's throwing his UFO to, onto the to try and prevent the defense on it, trying to capture it. But it's not going to be enough. We're going to be seeing a second go out now, but actually assisting Sylvana oh, here. Now Sylvana has lots of time to expand here. Oh, yeah. This is just Biz trickling. This is just... unit production is so bad, though. Yeah, Biz is going to be in a lot of hurt here right away with the production that uh, Savannah has. And that Morale just gave him. Morale just gave him. It's not going to be pretty. I'm going to be capturing that double forge now for Savannah. Gravity going up for the first I don't time. Think it's not, be enough. not enough to help at all. Biz is calling it right now. Ankh yeah. dropping the swords on this alien man here. That wow. was. A yeah, we don't get to see Ankh get dumped. That was awesome. That was, that was oh. awesome. Yes. I was so happy to see the way he defended against Accelerating Pulse. It was so well-timed, and he was prepared for it with invincibility. Yeah, beautifully anticipated. Svobana doing great instinct. Great work. Really, really great work. Going to be moving on to game number four here. This is match point, so Svobana, um Savannah and excuse me, uh, Biz, reminder, does have to be played on King of the Hill. This is going to be a good game. I can feel it. Is this going to go on to game number five like Cheese's predictions here? Well, I hope so. I yeah. hope so too. Game number five is the most riveting of the games. Mm hmm. We like a little drama with our mushrooms. Absolutely. Still waiting on Duplex 19. Uh, if anybody in chat's listening, Duplex 19. <laughs> but it's fine because we're going to be going on to game number four here. Um, have the invites gone up? Not yes. Yes, they have. There you go. I'm looking forward to game number four. Um, it does look like we do have Duplex 13 is the choice. Uh, is set to King of the Hill. So we're just waiting on the cheeseburger himself. But now let's jump right into the lobby. All right, off they go. Is it going to be... Oh! Oh! Laura? Is it going to... Is it going to... Don't oh! cheat this. 
Don't tease us. Oh, oh, oh what's happening? Oh. Okay. I think that is going to be the Moro. All right, let's roll. Pixo Moro. Yeah, lock it in. Lock it in, boys. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, Stella versus Moro. This is going to be good. Mm-hmm. I think Next Stella might. Be... I think we should have. Oh, go ahead, Jason. Stella will be a good choice against Moro, though, being able to use a first to move your get your production rolling um, against a attack. Like this. <laughs> right off the bat. Oh man, that first came up and it's so. Oh, that is filthy. It's not going to get any prettier. No, it's not, because no, like, it's, it's already three quarters of the way charged. You know, building that mana. Here it comes again. Where's it going? Oh, nasty. Going for the upgraded village, and you just spent five units to upgrade. defending it. Nope. That's yeah, way message, if you rewatch this, don't bother defending a low-level village like that when you have such low units. Yeah, abandon. Save your units. They're more valuable than the village at that point. 40, 40 units going out. 40 neutral Yeah, this units. is brutal. It's, look at, look at what Biz is doing right now. He has literally no choice. He's trying so hard to expand. And Svabana's like, I'm just going to have this whole side to myself. Yeah. And that's going to be GG, Svabana rocking that absolutely nasty Moro gameplay. Oh, it's so nasty. Yeah, that's one of those maps where it, it, you, even if you change tactics, you're... Yeah, well, I can't say the phrase. Uh, <laughs> you're a catch-22. You, uh, you either lose your unit production and expansion, yeah, or uh, you get hit with that first over and over again, and you have to expand slowly, and you're going to lose if you expand too slowly. And think of it... Think of it this way. Think of it this way. That map starts with... I, I, I can't exactly remember the units but it's got to be around the 40 unit mark and moro's first sends out 40 neutrals so you're already completely matched on not only your units but your neutral units that you can send so on a low you know low unit cost or low unit map at the start of the game moro is just gonna complete that's so rude it's so rude you know, there's maps you start with, you know, less than 20 units. And if Moro gets his first, all your work that you put into anything, expansion, especially maps where, you're, of course, you have to expand at the start, is gone. Like, that is it. Moro is early game ruiner of old souls. <laughs> it's over. Uh, LF is pointing out that... uh. It's defendable, <laughs> and in, in most circumstances it is. There are just some maps where, by defending it, you're still shooting yourself in the foot. Yep. Yep. I'd, I'd agree with that. It does look like we're going to be moving on to game number 12, though. Match number 12 here. We have Introvert versus... Um, I don't... I... I I don't I don't know what language that is. I it's Chinese and I just got word from our uh, <laughs> lovely support staff and it it means Vladimir. So we have Vladimir versus introvert. That is that I've never see I can't read Chinese, but if you guys uh, are taking a look at the bracket, in match number 12, you have Introvert, who is seated third, and Vladimir, who is seated sixth. To me, that doesn't spell Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't read it. So um, if you guys do want to check out the bracket, we do have some commands in chat for that. Uh, one of our lovely support staff will be able to hit you with it in chat right now. Thank you to everybody who is keeping score. I'm seeing Alpaca. Um, who is using our score command. If you guys do forget which maps are banned, you can always use the exclamation mark maps command as well. Um, if you guys haven't joined us on Discord, please join the Mushroom Wars 2 Discord. Please join the OP Noobs Discord. We bring you guys so many tournaments. We always have so many amazing giveaways to give you. Um, so many awesome prizes. Actually, while we wait for Vladimir and Introvert to... Um, 
start the game and, and begin, why don't we talk about actually some of the prizes for today's tournament? Like first place prize is going home with 500 rank points and OP Noob's first place avatar frame, as well as a first place trophy medal. Um, and then they also get to choose from uh, our extra prize list, which you guys can also find on the Battlefy website. Um, some of those extra prizes include um, some gold, some gems, there's epic chests, a paid avatar frame, hero upgrades, uh, campaigns, episode one and two, as well as uh, unlimited charges for one hero for a month. So pretty wicked prizes to choose from just as extra prizes. And you guys are also going home with some games. Uh, first place prizes going home with seven, the days long gone. Uh, Cube 2, Project Cars 2, Fight and Rage, uh, par par Paradigm, Full Metal Furies, and Cultist Simulator. I don't know what that game is about, but that sounds hilarious. Cultist <laughs> Simulator. There's a simulator for everything these days. It's well, it's it's. I a, want that. Just you know, I want to have my own cult, but not really yeah. like have to join a cult or be a cult leader. Yeah, I'd like to simulate uh, my own cult. Aren't we I, already in one with Discord? Well, I guess yeah. We I guess we're simulating <laughs> our own. What do we need the game for? It's a mushroom cult. Um, um, the mash, mushroom generals. <laughs> We've joined uh, more of like, this cult of the dead. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I want more of that you know oh sorry bad joke uh, <laughs> second place is going home with 250 ranked points uh an op news participant avatar frame as well as a second place trophy medal um and they again get to choose from our extra prize list they're as well going home with a game called observer i believe just because three the double xl edition rock of ages 2 bigger and bolder regions of ruin as well as sundered i believe i'm saying that right um, and third place is also going home with some really splendid prizes, like 150 rank points, an OP Noobs participant avatar, and an OP Noobs third place trophy medal. Um, and once again, get to choose from our amazing extra prize lists. They're also going home with three different games, Super Daryl Deluxe, uh, Dark Side Detective, as well as Sniper Elite 3. All participants do get a little bit of a prize, so even for joining us in today's tournament, you guys are going home with 50 rank points. Uh, participants avatar frame as well as a trophy medal for participating in today's tournament makes me feel bad that i'm saying hey we're giving you guys participation rewards but it also counts because hey 50 rank points is 50 points closer to lomi so um <laughs> <laughs> well i think they need to give you 50 ranked points so you're not a zero anymore i'm not a zero i'm a hero okay <laughs> 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 All right, um, we are still waiting on Vladimir and Introvert to set up the game. Let's just see if our support staff has anything to say about that. Um, you guys, we're doing great. We're doing great, you guys. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody joining us. Vin Blaine, Cheeseburger, you guys are doing great. You guys are thank doing you. amazing. I guess you guys are technically underneath me, I believe. Um, yeah. You're thank up there, you. I'm guessing, somewhere. Yeah, so <laughs> I think. Um, big thank you guys. It's, it's great having you here. You guys is you know, professional, um, <laughs> analysts, <laughs> you guys pro analysts, uh, definitely help me in terms of anything gameplay wise. You guys are amazing. Definitely. Uh, I love the fact that I, I ask you guys, what's the play. And it's just like, you guys both always say the same thing. It's like forge or rush or. Um, whatever. I love it. So the fact that you guys know what you're talking about just makes. Well, makes... we're really good at pretending. So. Oh, know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can tell you make, right? Yeah, yeah. This has all been a big joke on you, Attila. We pre recorded these matches and <laughs> <laughs> none of this is live. Yeah. <laughs> if only. Could you imagine? That's absolutely bad. Yeah. yeah. Pretend invites are getting sent. <laughs> All right, so quick reminder on um, the bracket right now. Um, we are just getting our invites right now, you guys. But after this, we do have round three. That is going to be uh, Dash versus Asvaril. And whoever wins this game or this match between Introvert and Vladimir is going to be playing against Svabana. So we have and Vladimir. That will be our top four. That is going to be our top four. That will be does look like these guys are just about ready to play we are just waiting on a cheeseburger to join us in the lobby yeah um, i just restart quickly and vin blaine also 
game froze. Yes, game froze. So we're just waiting to for both of my expert analysts to join us. Not a big deal. It's going to be two more seconds, you guys. Then we're going to be starting the last match of round two in today's tournament. Again, you guys, if you want to be keeping track of the bracket, we do have a lovely bracket command in chat um, to see who is going to be playing against who in our, I believe, semifinal matches. Yeah, this will be it. Winner of this is going to be moving on to our semifinal. The last, this is our last group stage. So <gasps> we are going to be jumping into the lobby right now. So let's do it right now for you guys. All right, so it does look like we are going to have a Moro versus a Stella. Vladimir on Stella, introvert on Moro. How is this going to play out? How is the first going to play out for Moro? I'm excited to see what, what, what happens here in the first five seconds of this game. Well, Vladimir needs to finish him fast and just not give him a chance. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we saw this before. Oh, no, underneath the tower, though. No, there's it... enough defense on that. It won't matter. No. Nice to play. And we're going to be seeing... Got it. There it He's is. He's got it. He's got oh. it. Vladimir outplayed. Left side, but... Well, it doesn't matter, though. He's got the production, though. Yeah, the right side is just too powerful. Even with this. But Moro might be able to... He's got, he's got I don't wrong. think so. Got might be able he's to help hold this. He paid the last 10 units. He, right. Yeah, he, he attacked the wrong building. Don't use Moro's first on a level four or five building. Use it on a level three or two, because it'll have the most more. impact. There we go. Just like a better yours. tactic actually might have been to stuff those uh, first into those towers to keep them from expanding to in this territory yeah. to stall them just a little bit. Perfect. So, wow. Yeah. And what we're going to see right now is, is exactly what we've seen time and time again. You you win right side, you essentially win the match here. Um, it's going to be, I don't want to say impossible, but extremely unlikely. And that's it. And yeah, that is going, that's going to be it. And did you guys see, I don't know if you quickly saw that, but um, Moro did use his, his first ability, um, summon the skeletons. The skeletons had the forge buff but as soon as he had lost the forge buff the skeletons didn't lose the buff i didn't notice that so if you have a forge and you lose it your skeletons are still going to be empowered so that's kind of interesting so i guess they count as their own unit but when you summon them they're your unit if that makes but sense now is it a graphical error though is it an animation mm -hmm. error Oh, that's actually a great question. So, I think we need to test this next time we train. I think so, too. I think so, too, yeah. Because that is... But, I mean, we know there's animation errors in all games, right? Yeah. And they're very minor, and you it's really hard to catch them all. And does that make that big of a difference? You know, 40 units go out, they have a forge buff, if they lose it or not. And you got to remember, they don't have... Like, they are a neutral... Still a neutral troop, so having Correct. a forge... They're still not that strong. Yeah. So again, it is that is it really gonna be the play? You know that you can predict whether it's like I'm gonna attack with my forges up while he's taking it. You know, is that is that gonna be a the win or loss difference? Unlikely, but it's still interesting to notice. Absolutely. So I yeah I would have to agree with you guys. It's definitely definitely worth taking a look at. Um. Congratulations, Vladimir, winning the first game in your best of five series here. Going to be moving on. Uh, excuse me, not moving on yet. Um, Going to be going on to game number two. Interesting to see how this plays out. Introvert does get the map choice, though. Um, great gameplay, though. Good timing on that at the beginning there. Being able to hold everything using, uh, using Stella's first to defend against Moro's first. We, we've thought about that. You know, we've spoken about that a minute ago. We were like, yes, it's going to be enough. And it does look like these guys are ready to play in their next game. So let's jump into the lobby right now for you guys. Oh, 
All right. So I think is this is this it? Is are we? Is it? Playing chia? Is it gonna chia? We are gonna get a chia. Introvert yeah. dropping in chia. We got Vladimir on Rudo. I believe was this duplex one? Correct me if I'm wrong here. I missed it. I wasn't. I wasn't fast enough. But what's the play, you guys? Let's hear it. It's going to be a, race a slow start. Yeah, You've got a race. The North and South Forge, uh, usually one will go for one and the other will go for the other, but sometimes you got one player because there's so many, so few units, it's hard to take both. You have one player who's sharp enough to grab that tower in between the Forge and lock down one, which makes them far more likely to be able to take the other if the opponent has not also locked down their tower. It's a question of if you can expand fast enough to get the unit generation to hold the Forge at that point. Okay, so let's talk about that 500 unit tower. <laughs> Ridiculous. Useless unless you're Mardio. Yeah. I understand. And now we've got both Forges. This is going to be tough, tough, tough on Introvert to come back. Yeah, Introvert definitely made a mistake. His, his trickle into the bottom there to yeah. get that tower. I'm not focusing on and the And ninjas top, up. That's gonna hurt. Two down, two down, three down. Yeah, that's game. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be game for sure, absolutely. And that's gonna be four, not quite yet, but absolutely. We're gonna see the double forge, and that's GG guaranteed. Vladimir taking game number two against Introvert, going into the match point, King of the Hill match point once again. Yeah, I, it, I've made no secret that I'm not a fan of Rudo. So, uh, Vladimir, when I say well rudoed, I, I mean uh, you did good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rudo, hey, Rudo is like the foundation of all Mushroom Wars players. He's there. He's he's he'll always be there. You know, thick and thin. You can always trust Rudo. No, well, congratulations again, Vladimir. Rudo. Never trust Rudo? Never. Well, it's just because he's got like a ninja and it makes no sense because he's like a soldier. <laughs> and people make a lot of assumption though that Rudo's fourth is the strongest, but it's actually not. His boots of speed are. It's the most handy for infiltration and getting to where you need to be. And if you've got high morale and you drop the boots on him, look out. That's fair. That's a fair point. So, Vladimir, congratulations. You're going into game point here. Currently 2-0. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. This is it, because winner of this match goes on to the semifinals. That's going to be it. Semifinals again, you guys. Still going to be a best of five, with the finals being a best of seven. After the semifinal matches, we are going to be doing the third place match, um, which will be... The losers of the semifinals will play in our third place match. And then obviously our grand finalists will play a best of seven. Um, I have no predictions for who's going to make it that far. I've got, I really don't have any. I think Svabana is a great player. I think Svabana did a, a really amazing job. I saw very few mistakes in, in the gameplay itself. Um, but we've also seen Dash and Azrael are like both also incredible players. So it's going to be a little bit tricky um, to, to really decide on, on what's going to happen. So here we go, you guys. It looks like we have everybody in the lobby. Um, and it's all right because I got a game crash. had some kind of disconnect, a game crash. So everybody got kicked, and we're going to be resetting that for you guys in just a second. Yes, and this is what I look like, Joey. I look just like this. So, you know, I gonna get someone to come and uh, shine my head for me so he looks good he looks excuse me he doesn't look good he looks great all right he looks great I, i'm aging very well you know extremely extremely it's like uh it's like how i'm growing out my beard yeah you're working on it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i am and my mustache yeah, i'm working on it i'm <laughs> working on it yeah one of these days i'll have <laughs> facial hair you know it's the dream <laughs> That's, that's, my, the dream. that's the dream have a little bit of facial hair i've always wanted to grow like i can already tell you guys like i'm I'm half asian so when i turn like 70 years old my hair is gonna whiten out i'm gonna have a fu man shoe and i'm gonna be able to stroke a nice goatee but it does look like we have most people in the lobby here and we do have introvert versus vladimir um match point
All right, I didn't have a chance to see if they chose King of the Hill, but I'm so happy I'm seeing King of the Hill right now. <laughs> I like this map on King of the Hill. So much fun. And uh, Vladimir is going to go for both forges. Wow. Very smart. And he's really right committing. Going that expansion. That's going to be tough for him to hold, I think. Um, with yeah, on the north side, he's got a tower between them. Yeah, but it holds yeah. both of them. Oh. With the defense, that's smart. That's smart. You can hold you the southern one pretty easy. Absolutely. Now he's going to have to. Now we're going to see that push for the north one again. Introvert sitting on three abilities. He might lose it, but he's stalling it for sure. Not too sure why we saw the, the stone come out. Yeah, there. Well, he just caught the front end, so we didn't lose too many troops. You see how many troops he's got in there now? So. Not seeing oh, much yeah. upgrading from Vladimir. There we go. I'm not too sure, Vlad, Introverse I think quite throw, throwing in some units to just, I think he's sacrificing some units here. I think that's what we're doing. I think he, he sacrificed roughly 12 units into that bottom King of the Hell Tower. You're going to be seeing a push for it. Are we going? Is this map a conquest map, even though it's King of the Hill? Yes and no. I mean, you still need those towers, right? Um, but if the other person overcommits on those towers, you could conquest them, technically. Oh, boy. <laughs> Except sending in all his units like that, yes, you will remove the units. Oh, that boy, this guy hurt. Stone, so oh. It wiped out the units, but there, he had nothing to follow him up. Yes, unfortunately. And that's the mistake a lot of Chia players make, especially... Oh, he did follow them up, though. I mean, you look how he brought it down from... Uh, he had so many in his top building there above that tower. He was able to follow up those stones and... I got you. Um, he did a good this job. Is, I mean... This is looking like a Chia this, win. This is looking like a Chia win. A lot of aggression here. This is going to be Introvert's first game if he takes this, but it's not over yet. Lots of room still. Yeah, and... Uh... This. Got the See, boots. Whoa, going into the back line here. This is where they're strong, so he's gonna have some power. And oh, look at this, though. That's, I mean, that's triple four. I don't think it's gonna help him. Uh -oh. yeah, that's GG. It's gonna be GG. That back line is decimated. He's got no unit productions, it's 500 units to 50 units, and that is GG. Introvert taking game number three, taking the series 2 1. Still for Vladimir. Still for yeah, Vladimir. I felt like, so. I, I, felt like I did because you know I thought uh, I thought that uh, that actually was Vladimir's base in the upper right hand corner on the south side when he hit the tower and they forge with stones. <laughs> I didn't realize oh. he was trying to take up the steel. Uh, yeah. So, yes, that was well played. That was uh, very very. A very smart Chia play, the way he uh, rolled those stones out and uh, got the win. So way to go, Introvert. That was uh Yeah, way smart. to go. Way to show us that Chia isn't just a loser today. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate seeing the Chia win. Love Chia. It's so aggressive. Chia has so much damage. Chia, I think, is like a is like a new aner. Just, just tons of damage. Tons of damage. I love that. I also just love Aner. He's so cool. His character model is probably like one of my favorites. Um, way to go, devs. You know, the artwork in this game, splendid. Absolutely splendid. Um, but again, Introvert taking that game. Currently 1-2 for Vladimir. Looking, looking forward to this next game. This is, again, match point, so it does need to be played in King of the Hill. Um... This is going to be going into game number four. I'm, I think I think Vladimir is going to have a huge advantage here because he does get to choose the map. Yeah, I he think, is yeah. going to get the pick, so I think he will get... Um, I think it's going to be huge. Looks like iScore hasn't updated yet, so... Um, looks like we're just waiting for our invites to be sent out from the players here. Not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And oh, absolutely. 
still looking still still waiting for still waiting for invites from vladimir and introvert um i'm looking forward to this game vladimir is going to have a huge advantage because he does get to choose his map um you know going into going into map selection you, you come out you come you go in with a strategy um and typically you come out with a win uh when you get to choose the map so i'm looking forward to it this uh we do all have our invites now i believe uh, i can't wait to see what map vladimir chooses we're just waiting on vimblin to join but while we wait let's jump into the lobby for you guys right now All righty. So it does look like uh, Join wants us to discuss the strategies against a high morale and steamrolling opponent. So let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, I that's more. He's looking for defense. Yeah, I, I mean, if you uh, if you're against somebody that's got high morale and ready to steamroll you, you got to hope you can defend and you got the units to defend because if not, you're getting steamrolled. Yeah, it's it's tough to say because you know. It depends what kind of position you're in yourself, um, whether you're comfortable, whether you have high unit production. If you have like a ton of units and they're like, yeah, it's time to steamroll, maybe you have some more options. But before we discuss this further, let's jump into the game, you guys. We do have, is that Claw? Oh, Claw Moro? 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 Is this, is this? I think, I'm, yeah, this is looking, this is looking like it. Looking like it. Just gotta press OK. Play now. Oh, Onk. switching over to Onk. Onk would be a good defense too, but if you're using a second. Yeah, that's the thing. It's tricky. So unless you got a tower up and then using a first and taking them as your own. Yep, and then we do have that King of the Hill map selection. See, this is a thing though. Introvert choosing Moro. Twenty units to begin. Yeah, and see, this map isn't necessarily the best for Moro to start on. I mean, just watch how long it takes to get his first. But yeah. he's got to be careful to not expand too quickly, or he's going to get wrecked. It looks like he's focusing on upgrading to have a better defense against that first. Yeah, yeah definitely. Back and forth, I back mean, and forth. We still don't have a first up yet. Now, if Introvert had gone up to the 10 and gotten the 5... There it goes. There it goes. I've and he's going to be comes. able to defend now. It's going to slow him down, but he should be able to defend that. Yeah, See? he's not going to lose it. He barely, barely held on to it now. But Introvert now going to be able to throw throwing units around. It's This map is a little bit tricky for Red Side. So... Um, yeah, if he doesn't get on getting his mana up quicker now that he's starting to get troops, this very well could go to Vladimir. Okay, this uh, gonna I think going out again. Second to be able to hold on. Yeah. Oh, just loses it. Ooh, so yeah, so... That's a lot of trouble for Vladimir here. Again. Ooh. Yeah, now it's coming up quicker. He's starting to be able to kill his troops and get his mana up. Yeah, now we got... Yeah, that's going to be GG. Vladimir knows it too. Moro, on those low low unit maps, has such a huge advantage. Going to be going into game number five here. Game number five. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Jason, uh, there was a question in chat. Somebody saying they wanted to hear us uh, talk about what strategies you can use uh, when getting steamrolled by a five-star yeah. morale opponent. We did start talking about that um, originally before the game started. But yeah, I mean, it, now it depends on your morale, right? So say Vin Blaine has five stars and I've yeah. got no stars, it's going to be hard. But if I had three stars, I've just got to defend and hold. Now it's not impossible with no stars, but you've got to have the troops and have them where they need to be. Wouldn't you agree, Finblin? Uh, yeah, uh, anything that you can do to generate morale, uh, you you yeah. run the risk of burning through units as you upgrade things. But uh, 
that's the only way to do it is hold out long enough to generate morale. I mean, there's yeah, really no good tower strategy. Up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, tower up and pray you don't lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to say the least, pray you don't lose it. All right, so this is game five between Vladimir and Introvert here. Introvert doing a great job coming back from 2-0 or 0-2. And now going into game number five, this is King of the Hell. We're just waiting on Vinblaine again, and let's join the lobby right now, you guys. Alright, so it looks like we're just waiting on Vind again. Let's get him some invites here. This is on Duplex Thanks, 8, it seems to be. Alright, we got King of the Hill, Duplex 8. This is a great, great map for game number 5. I don't think anybody would argue, argue it. Duplex 8, very great map. And we're getting another Moro. Good. Excellent. And a clot. And Vulgar, I see your comment here. Um, yes, the developers are aware. And I believe a nerf is coming. It's just so nasty. So we're going to see is. a pretty pretty familiar start here. Getting those King of the Hell Towers. Get that increased unit production out of those puppies very quickly. Um, oh, yeah. That, that, that five. level 5 tower is not a good he choice should. for that. No, so no. He should have thrown that on that level 2. Exactly, and it would have been, he would have been able to, but now he's not messing up his production. So, um, so I think Introvert will be in for say, oh, 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 he's got it. Yeah, see, he's, he's, fo he's focusing it, so he's he's forcing defense, but yeah. but Vladimir is doing well enough that he's defending and he's expanding all at the same time. And introvert is, you know, he's really counting on on these on these firsts. And there he goes again. This time, no. He's too focused. He's focusing. And tunnel vision in this game is not necessarily the best thing. It is putting him behind, but um, it's not enough. He needs to put it elsewhere. He needs to. He needs to make Vladimir. He needs to distract Vladimir. Yeah. I mean, he is creating good distraction for him, absolutely, but... But there's no consequence to it. No. And off he goes again. And... And he's I... doing... I think he's... I think it's working. Yeah, yeah I think <laughs> But... I really do think it's working, yeah. He maintained his morale by continually expanding. Yeah, All right, so we're gonna be seeing a Forge Forge. That was Klotz's third to swap him, but that's really just going to be a GG. Introvert going from 0-2 to 3-2, winning three games in a row, moving on to her semifinals. Oh now, my. did he win with Moro all three times in a row? I think he did, didn't he? Uh, let's say he didn't, so then... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we just... The Moro, you know, he's already, he's already too much. It's already too much, but I believe, yes, you are correct. You know, when they finally do get around to nerfing Moro, I have a feeling that in a couple months, we're all going to be looking back saying, man, he was perfect. Why did we nerf him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once everybody figures out how to deal with it. Well, that's it. You know, yeah. I mean, it was like when they nerfed uh, Sato. Yeah. Poor Satoshi. Yeah. Poor Satoshi. GG. No playtime anymore. All right. Well, congratulations again there, Introvert, going three games in a row. You're going to be moving on to our semifinals to play against Fabana. We do have um, Dash um, versus Asvaril, um, which will be next for you guys. But before we do that, we are going to be doing another mega giveaway. Quick reminder, you guys, this mega giveaway is going to be for Rapture Rejects. Um, I will be asking you guys a very simple question. Um, first person to answer said question will be winning rapture rejects we do have the trailer which will be posted up beside me in this direction very shortly if not right now um quick reminder to you guys uh how this works it's very very simple all i'm gonna do is ask you guys a question the first person in chat to answer said question correctly wins the prize everybody who's participating in our giveaways today and who is in twitch chat today thank you guys so much for participating um 
I really do appreciate it a ton. And we're going to start off with our second mega giveaway right now, you guys. So question being, at what level in the campaign of episode three does Chia become playable? Ooh. If you do not have episode three of Mushroom Wars 2, go buy it right now. It's the only way to find out. Power through a certain amount of levels because we need to find out at what level in the campaign does Chia become playable. Buy the, buy, buy the expansion right now. Beat the campaign in like five seconds. <laughs> and then answer the question in chat. Well, you only got to get to that level that Chia becomes playable to know the answer. Correct. So once again, you guys, this is for Rapture Rejects. At what level in the campaign of episode three does Chia become playable? Just so you guys are aware, after this make giveaway, we're going to be taking a short two-minute break for our casters here, myself, uh, Vin Blaine, and Cheeseburger to go get a uh, quick water. Uh, maybe use the washroom quickly. I invite everybody at home who is watching or at work who is watching to do the same. Um, it's important to get up and stretch um, every so often when you guys are playing video games or watching something. So uh, one last time, you guys, at what level in the campaign of episode three does Chia become playable? We're looking for the correct answer in chat right now. Um, and I guess we will just be right back with a short two-minute break. Our lovely staff will be able to hand out the answer and the prize for you guys in chat. Um, we'll be right back in just two minutes here.
Welcome back, you guys, to another Mushmores 2 tournament presented by the OP Noobs. We're going to be jumping right into the semifinals, you guys. It's already time for the semifinals. We do have one more mega giveaway for you guys today, so stay tuned for that as well as more in-chat giveaways as well. Our first semifinalists will be playing, which will be Dash or Inoi versus Asvaril. Uh, both these players, you know, showing us what they've got throughout the tournament um today we had dash winning his first game 3-0 against cardi fox and winning his second game against brk 3-2 which was a very close match um Azrael going 3-0 against nugs and winning 3-1 against sanchez so Azrael does have a better win rate today um our next game in the semifinals our second semifinalists will be sveben sveb Svebana, Svebana, Svebana. There we go. Got it. Svebana, Svebana. against um, Introvert. Svebana winning her his first game, his or her, not sure. First game, um, three one against Vega, and the second game in round number two against Bizic, three one as well. Introvert winning his first game, three zero against PSR, and his second game against Vladimir, three two. So all these players, you know, doing extremely well in today's tournament. You know, getting to the semifinals is very, very challenging. Um, so I'm really happy to see you guys this far already. Quick reminder on how these games are going to go. These are currently best of five matches. Game point will be a played on, <clears throat> excuse me, King of the Hill. And the winner of these games are going to be going on to the grand finals, which will be a best of seven. And the losers will be moving on to our third place game. And unfortunately, whoever is the final loser is only going home with participation awards today. Do your best. Try your hardest, you guys. We have Dash versus Azrael on Duplex 58. Let's jump into our first semifinalist game right now for you guys. All right, so we're just waiting on Finblane to join us in game right now. Shouldn't be much longer. We do have Dash once again versus Azrael. Dash apparently participating in one of our other OP News tournaments. Um, and Azrael with that super fancy border. Uh, does look like we have everybody in the lobby now, so we're going to be starting our game right away. Duplex 58. You've seen it time and time again, you guys, as it is our first mandatory starting map. Ooh, is this some cheese happening? Is this the? Is this? Is, is, yeah. All right. We got the Klotz mirror match. I don't know how this is gonna play out. I I really I really couldn't tell you how this is gonna work. All right. Okay. Here. So. Okay. Oh. 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 I don't. I don't know about yeah. that one. I'm we're going to see the multiple capture from Dash on both the Forges here. Turncoats, turncoats. God. Not going to be able to hold on. It does look like, oh my god, and still not capturing that middle Forge. Going to be recaptured here. Immediately Asriel throwing in the towel here. Knew he lost it. GG. Dash. Taking home game number one. Yes. I all think right. we're going to go all five on this one. You think so? Two really good players. I think, you know, Dash has shown how good he is and is going to be able to uh, uh, really test Asveril on uh, yep. what. And so we're going to, I mean, I think it's going to be whoever picks map wins. I, I'm i I'm on board with you on that one, Cheese. I'm on board with you on that one. So we're going to be jumping into our second game of the semifinal here. Um, Great job, Dash, taking game number one. It does look like Azrael wants to jump into a skill matchup on Duplex 8. So let's get into that lobby for you guys right now. All right, Azrael going for that super aggro Pixo. With a Zeke, interesting. Oh, 
I, oh, I'm interested to see how Zeke will counter uh, um, Pixel. Um, that is that is a really great question. Yeah, I guess shortcut is a great ability. Um, I was thinking, uh, wonder if he could pull off rewind before uh, as the real second comes up or it actually gets applied. Oh, that is interesting. Look at how fast these players are moving. Both players obviously very familiar with duplex eight. Both going tower to forge. Tower to forge as well. Now, what are we going to be seeing here? There's the first going out. Going to be countering that push onto the top one. Oh, rewind going out though. Might be able to hold on to this though. Unfortunately, not. And now going to be losing his middle forge because he did tunnel. Asbro now going to be able to take the lead easily here. He's going to barrel over him at this point. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be seeing the first from Pixo. And Dash knows he's calling it. That's gonna be GG going on to game number three. One one for both these players. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough, like when you lose like that. Um, but I think I called it. Whoever picks the map is gonna have a strategy in mind to be able to win it. Yep. As it should be. Yeah, I agree. It is it is a strategy based game. So you you have those scenarios or scenarios if you're one of those weird people. Um <laughs> you know, come into these come into these games with that in mind. For sure, absolutely. You know, and uh, when we uh, will, I mean, we'll be able to verify my assumption, I guess, once you know we see uh, it, the next map get picked by Dash and what he has uh, got planned. It does look like these guys want to play on Duplex 17. So while we wait for Vinblain to join us in lobby, let's jump into that lobby right now. All right, so we do have uh, Zik again versus Trini. I'm liking this. I like it. Duplex 17, we've seen this again, I believe, today. Dash will have advantage by being slightly closer. Yep. And his, uh, he left at the right time. Um, but it oh, looks like just... he's get held by... Uh... That... Oh, no, the rewind? Ah, he's not being it. enough. Not really, enough. there's no point uh, straight from Fosse's mouth. There's no point of going for the forge against a Trini. Because if you get it, all Trini's gonna do is use her first on you over. Yeah, anyway. yeah. <laughs> and that's cool. so true. That's great. That's great. The man of the forge. All right, so we already see Dash in a ton of trouble. Gonna throw out the GG. Azrael taking this, going into game number four here, two one. Currently for Azrael, this is match point. So again, it does have to be played on King of the Hill, and it will be Dash's choice. So I guess my assumption was wrong. Sad panda. <laughs> <laughs> Sad panda. But they're both really good players, so you know. Um, I I'm proud to say that these players have made it to the semifinals, and they oh. have shown us like some wild plays, some absolutely wild plays. Okay, so we're just waiting for invites. So this is, again, match point going into game number four here for Azvaril. It does have to be played on King of the Hill, but it is Dash's choice. He can pick any map he wants, and it does look like he does want to play on Duplex 18. Um, we're just going to be waiting for everybody to join us in the lobby. So let's jump into that lobby once again right now for you guys. All right, duplex this is 18. Here we yeah, go. Duplex 18 is a great map. Yeah, and King of the Hill, it's uh, it's such a different strategy playing this map on Conquest versus King of the Hill, right? Um, Forges and the King of the Hill Tower are what rules this map on King of the Hill. 
I agree. I, I, I'm on board with you on that one. The thing is, um, duplex 18, like it's, it's a little bit tricky because heroes are also very important in this map. Absolutely. Uh, um, it's, it's, you know, I got it. Perfect. So it does look like we have everybody in the lobby. You see, like the hero selection is so important in this one. Pixo, Azrael's dropping in Pixo. We have Dash on that Clots, which is a great pick as well. Um, I don't know how this is going to play out. Um, I can already see what Azrael's plan is with Pixo, but Clots is challenging. Um, Moro would have been great on this map as well, because just devastating. Absolutely, yeah. You get your first up so easily, you know, the rushing of the Forge. And are we going to see a hold here? It's going to go back and forth. See, now he's going to have the King of the Hills tower, and oh, this is... That unit production is First so high. Three. We can see that turn yeah. coast. Nicely yeah. done. That is for dash. I mean... Delaying that unit production here, and that King of the Hill tower is already making so many units, and you can yeah. see it right now. Azrael grabbing onto that forge but not being able to hold on to it. and thus does look like gg for dash we got a proper prediction from jesus is going to be going into game number five here yes yeah. i'm right finally <laughs> <laughs> it does look like he was correct and this is going into game number five currently two two for both players but this is asriel's pick now going into game number five so the strategy the hero selection everything is coming down to this last game yeah, it really is. And it's going to be interesting to see what map Azrael picks and does Dash know enough about it to put up a good fight? Is it see, an that's... old map? Is it a new map? Great question, actually. Great question. I think it'll be an old map because, you know, it, it, it all boils down to familiarity. Um, but if you have been practicing new maps, I mean, you you yourself also have a huge advantage there. Um, but it does look like we have everybody in the lobby here, so we're going to be jumping right into this last King of the Hill match between Azrael and Dash on Duplex 27. Oh, perfect. So yeah, we absolutely have Pixo again, and a Zick. Here we go. This is kind of exciting. exciting. Game 5, guys. Get excited. Oh. This is the first semifinal match. 100 oh. units each. 100 units, let's go. We're all fun. Oh, this yeah, is a great map. So, what's the strategy? Production. Right. Production, production, production. <laughs> yeah, uh, rewind is going to be a rough one when going for that King of the Hill. Uh, but he's, okay. as for all, has his, uh, his second. It's a matter of who can use it quick, quickest. Yeah, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I love this. I'm loving the trickle. Azrael's. Azrael's doing a good job, but oh yeah, going for the double forge first. Are we gonna see a rewind? Nope. He's saving it for that middle King of the Hill Tower. See that King of the Hill Tower is daunting. 70 units in there. He's bypassing it's... it. Oh yeah, what, what's the plan? Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing the first come out. Interesting placement. It's almost like he forgot that there's a bit of a delay, but it's gonna be able to shoot those units now going into the middle. King of the Hell Tower. He's going to be able to first to capture. Oh! Oh! Nice. Oh, that was uh, rude. He can't hold it. Oh, he can't hold it. No, he can't. The morale he gave away. He's moving too slow. Oh, gravity going up now, too. See? Now this... This is going to hurt him a lot. Because a lot. now he's going to oh my dump he's he's forge level 5. Yeah. Oh Gravity's going to kill it. He's going to be running triple forge now. And that looks like it's going to be GG for Dash, and Asriel is going to be moving on to our Grand Finals. But there was a really good thought to throw to the back line like that and cause a distraction. You know, um, it was very well thought out and well played by uh, Dash. I, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Well done. Very well done. Asriel, you're going to be moving on to our grand finals our next game is going to be between Svebana and introvert introvert came back from a zero two uh lead and winning three two um just earlier today against vladimir 
will he be able to come out an, a victory against Vibana? I don't know. Cheeseburger, Vin, predictions? <laughs> I don't know. They I both don't... put on a really good show today. Um, they both uh... have. Oh. I'm going to... I'm just gonna throw some numbers out there. I'm gonna say three one, but I'm not gonna say who's winning. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna be the score. I'm gonna three. keep my fingers crossed for a three two. I'm going with three two. Three two? Yeah. They've right. both they've both shown that they've put some practice into the match oh, they've yeah. chosen. The, Absolutely. They've proven themselves as far as they've practiced. Introvert was playing a ton of Moro. Yes. So that makes me nervous a little bit, but I'm excited to see it. Well played, um, Dash and Azrael. Dash, unfortunately, you're gonna be, you're gonna, you still have a chance, man. You still have a chance. You're gonna be going into our third place match. Um, still have a chance for you there. Um, but we do have Svebana and Introvert Loser. This game will be playing against Dash in the third place match, and the winner will be playing against Azrael in the grand finals. Which, a quick reminder, you guys, the grand finals will be a best of seven. Um, so keep your keep your mushroom caps on, you guys, because this is gonna get this is gonna get crazy. This is gonna get crazy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. We're just waiting for invites from Svebana and Introvert. Um, I'm what kind of sad. I'm kind of sad though that we're not going to see any fire maps. You're right. <laughs> map <laughs> they, hazards they make for good entertainment. Yeah, map Great hazards are so rude. You got burnt. Like, just delete those troops if you move at the wrong time. <laughs> like, hey, how do you time it? You can't. You need. You need no, to you stop. Can time it. It. You've, you you've can got time it. You've got to count though, and then when you're counting, you can't also count troops and be thinking that you have to have a super brain to keep up with all of them. <laughs> super brain. Oh you gotta man. Be druid. Lomi's Lomi. changing his name to Super Brain <laughs> yeah. after this one. You gotta be an AI. <laughs> all right, still waiting on those invites, you guys. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, oh my I'm, goodness. I'm as I speak. They, I know they pop right as you speak. Right as I speak. We got Svibana, we got Introvert. We're going to be jumping into Duplex 58, you guys. I'm looking forward to this. As we wait for Vimblain to join us, let us jump into the lobby right now for you guys. All right, so we got Vin Blaine in game right now. Introvert, Svavana, game number one in the best of five series in the second semifinal. <gasps> Wilford, <Vin> Wilford. <laughs> Come on, show me Wilford. Sorry, Svavana, but you know I'm going to root for Wilford. <laughs> uh, All right, so far. Ooh. 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 Yeah, this is a smart oh, play. Oh, this is filthy. Yes, this is a smart play. This is the smartest play you can make. If they're choosing Moro, you pick Moro. Yeah, I couldn't agree more because it's gonna come down to, it's gonna come down to firsts here. Mm -hmm. Let's see the timing and see how this plays. That's what. Uh, Robon has <laughs> caught it. Yeah, Jason, what we saw on the uh, yep. forge there. Oh God! Ah, nicely barely done. Yeah. Barely cool. now gonna be able to get that tower or the excuse me the forge. That's. That's it. That's GG. That's 11 units to 50 units, more or less. And even yeah, that Zavana, first Zavana, Zavana definitely knew what to expect on this map. Yep, there you go. Introvert tomorrow goes down. Yes, so, you know, I mean, that's the smartest play. I could, yeah. pick tomorrow, you pick tomorrow. Right? It's the only way to counter it. Just counter Well, it's the most efficient way to counter it. It's not the only way to counter it, but it's the most efficient. All right. So I'm seen in chat by ZVN Cheesy, who would win in a conquest match between us three. Now, I'm not going to say I would win because it'd be unfair for me to do so. But <laughs> I feel like if we had, like, if there was, a, you know, 1v1v1, 
I would be the first to get targeted, not because I'm better than everyone, but because I am infinitely worse. What if you and I had an alliance <laughs> and we teamed up on Vinblain? And then also- actually, but I was thinking you would probably <laughs> team up on me. So that cool. would probably work. You know, you're right. There would It would never be a 1v1v1. One one one. There would be some kind of- It's never one, like three some kind of maps. Mm -hmm. Triplex maps are inherently unfair. Correct. Oh. Correct. Um, well, congratulations, though, um, Savannah. You know, you're taking the first win of the day, um, and you're in your semifinal series here. Um, we do have everybody in game right now, so we, I think we're going to be playing on Duplex One. Let's jump into the lobby for you guys. All right, so it does look like we have Duplex 34 instead. Introvert can't seem to decide what exactly he wants to play, but... What should I choose? Oh, now we're at 65. 65, oh, totally new map. game. New map. I think this is one they should play. This is going to be a good one. All right. Are we getting wow. Stilford? I think he's going to switch. I think he is. Oh, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine Ch with that. Ch Chia. Oh, Chia against Onk, though? Onk's a good pick against Chia. All right, so what's the play? Here we go. This is a new map, so we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna have a chance to see a little bit of, a little bit of something new here. This, I believe the first time. Um, I believe this is the first time we've seen this as well today. All right, so first to forge is gonna be introvert. All right, here, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty similar tactics here. Yeah. Pretty similar tactics here. Gonna be Savannah going first to move. He's coming out so many different ways. Oh. oh! No, but second! Oh. Oh, still gonna be able to hold it. Not enough, yeah. Okay, still well now use the Totem of Rage go up, but it's gonna be Trickle Tactic just to be able to hold this big snake going in. That's it, that's easy peasy. Now we're gonna be seeing some aggression here. Look at this. Ooh, it's, ooh, it's dirty. Manages to sneak the forge just for a second there. Oh, and psychs him out on the where he's going. Oh, it doesn't have enough. So now he's gonna have to sit back and kind of chill for a second. No, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, do I understand it right that that first for Chia doesn't actually work for defense? Well, it, it works does. like a forge. It's, it's like, like a forge. I mean, defense. To, for some reason, I didn't think it actually worked on the defense then. It pumps units, stronger units, into your village, but it doesn't assist in defending a village. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I, I think that's right. I would love to know if that's right for sure. Like, 100% oh. pretty sure it, it doesn't actually add to your defense like a forge would. Oh, no. Will you be able to? No, nope, he can't oh, get it. Got his forge. And yet, got his forge. Does have his forge. It doesn't work with defense as we just saw there. No. That's gonna be GG for introvert and Svabana taking game number two. Moving on to game number three here, two zero. But introvert has been in this situation before. Is he gonna be able to pull out a three game win again? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Svabana is a great player, so he's yeah. got got a tall hill to climb here absolutely uh, it's gonna be a long climb up and uh um it's a little mushroom feet are gonna be tired after this one yeah it's uh and you know mushroom feet legs are really short so that's a lot of steps <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're right I you got your step counter on because you're losing calories today <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are going to be going on to game number three. Savannah currently in the lead 2-0. Winner of this game will be playing against Asvaril in the semifinals. Or excuse me, in the grand finals. And the loser of this match will be playing against Dash in the third place match, which will be shortly after the semifinal as well. Just waiting for these lovely players to send us their invites. I... What, what... 
Oh, hold on a second. If Svana wins this, all of our predictions are wrong. I said 3-1. You guys said 3-2. That's true. If Svana, Svana wins this, that's it for our predictions. That's GG. Anyways, uh, we have everybody in the lobby right now, except for Vinblane. It looks like they want to play on Duplex 44. So let's jump right in to Duplex 44 right now, you guys. I'm in. We got Chia and Ankh. We got Introvert and Svavana. Duplex 44, first time today as well. Yeah, I like this map. This is a beautiful map. I I, I agree with you. Nothing nothing <laughs> like a snowy Just, weather. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> All right, so very similar plays happening right now. Yeah. Very, very similar. We're seeing our upgrades. Everybody's upgrading their villages, we're capturing their villages. Savannah's doing a much better job of upgrading. Yes, but see, that doesn't do anything if there's no follow-up. It's That's Chia's most challenging, you know, ability. It's so powerful, but if there's no follow-up, all it does is eliminate units in a village. Nice, nice third. Very nice third. Yeah, very nice third, you know. Oh my that's goodness. really, really tough to... Especially yeah. right after that Totem of Rage came out. Going for the North 10. He's expanding and attacking simultaneously. Yeah, he's... Such he's a great job. So well at yes. that. And... It's gonna make it really hard for Introvert to come back now at this point. Um, morale's not in his favor. Svan is a bit. Doesn't surprised. have the troop count. I mean, he's 60, 70 troops behind, you know? And no follow up. Oh, oh, yeah. that was decent, yes. decent follow up there. I'll give him that. He had enough units in that bottom village to be able to actually make a strong aggression. But now he's. Oh, lost. nice second. Another nice second, like. Being able to hold on to that now, grabbing that tower back after so many units pouring out of there, even with the Totem of Rage, it's yeah. it's like trouble for Introvert. He's very well practiced with Ankh, that's clear. Yes, very well. And the mistake that Introvert made was he exited the King of the Hill Tower to attack. He should have held it and tried to hold back on That's going to be GG Introvert throwing in the towel, going to be going yeah. into our third place match to play against Dash Azvaril. And Svabana going to be going on to the grand finals here to play against each other in just a minute, you guys. I believe we're going to be playing our third place match first. I believe so. It looks like we are going to be doing our third place match first. It's going to be kind of nasty. <laughs> nasty. So that's going to be introvert and um dash this again will be a best of five quick reminder you guys thank you for everybody who are doing you guys in in our participants today are doing such an amazing job of making this so not awkward for us because we haven't had any problems with the king of the hill um match points you guys are doing such a great job. I just want to say a big thank you to all our participants who are setting that to King of the Hill because it is seriously yeah. so awkward. Nobody likes to lose on disqualification. Nobody wants to win on disqualification. It's just like a heartbreaking moment. So you guys are just doing a great job. I just want to say a big thank you. But let's get on with uh, Dash versus Introvert in our third place matches. What do you guys think? Third place match. Who Who's going to win? I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're gonna see another Moro. Quick oh, reminder okay. to uh, our viewers that our third place winner is gonna go home with 150 rank points, an OP noob participant avatar frame, and a third place trophy medal, as well as an extra prize from the list for mobile players. Um, and three amazing games: Super Daryl Deluxe, Dark Side Detective, and Sniper Elite Three. Big rewards for you guys, even if you make in third place. Big big rewards. Yeah, absolutely. 
Mm. It's going to be wild. This is going to be a wild game. 3-0 for Svabana, you guys, in our semifinals, hey? Like, that is... Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. No. I wasn't expecting no. that. You know? Um, but... Uh, introvert was making mistakes and I think he might have been depending on skills too much which can be a detriment right yeah yeah I would uh, it's tough to say um, we had we did have a, a no skill game hey we no did the other just uh, just a few games ago can't remember exactly who who participated in that but that was you know sometimes you don't need them Sometimes they're just there to help, for help. Some, you can just go in blind and hopefully take it home a W. And it's actually a fun challenge to play is to see if you can win without using skills. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I can't say I could do it, but I'm not, I'm not against trying. <laughs> the no ability challenge. Yeah. I would, I'd like to think so anyways. What uh, we do sometimes with custom games that's kind of fun is because there's always going to be one person in the middle in a triplex. So Correct. In a triplex, only the middle person can use skills. Yes. So now, uh... <laughs> get rid of the person with skills. Yes. But it's uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do, right? Yes. So I don't know if the third place match ease are quite ready they are getting it together just got some more from our our most beautiful support staff employee his name is mind games if you guys don't know him he is he is the he is the voice in our ears always telling us what's going on um what matches are going to be streamed um great guy great guy great scolding guy. us in our ears when we make mistakes yeah, yeah, he's 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 in our ears. Uh, whenever you know, you give you give you one of these. It's always mind games. He is he is the he's the voice in our heads. Uh, uh, I'm getting reports from the desk. That... One of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you, mind games. You know, big thank you. Um, they're just getting the game organized, so we'll be jumping into our third place match right away. Right, right away. Again, um, second place is going home with 250 rank prizes, no PA noobs participation, avatar frame, and a second place trophy medal. And if they play on mobile, they get to choose from an extra prize as well. They are also going home with Observer, Just Cause 3, the double XL edition, Rock of Ages 2, Bigger Boulder, Regions of Ruin, and Sunder. Still don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say yes. I'll remind you guys what first place is going home with as soon as we start a grand final match. That part is very exciting for me because I love how much stuff we give our first place finalists or like how much we give our first place winner, excuse me. It's, it's, it's great. Like you guys obviously deserve it. You guys deserve it. If you're, if you're out here getting into their top three or top four, Hats off to you guys, but it does Take look it like, like bandits. Yeah, exactly. So we do have everybody except for Cheeseburger in oh. our game. So we are going to be jumping into Duplex 58. Reminder, you guys, this is our third place game. Winner of this series is going home as a third place finalist, you guys. Thanks again for participating in today's tournament. And we're going to jump into the lobby right now for you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, so nice. We're going to be getting our first Aner of the day. Oh, I want a rage that I can just laugh and I love rages. Rages are the best. I'm looking Unless you're on the receiving end of one of Elsha's. <laughs> no, I still laugh because nice. Elsha's in my ear laughing too, and you just can't. It's just awesome. Well timed, Ainoy. Oh, beautiful. Yay. Very oh, well. Wow. And that's that's already it. That's GG. The lock isn't gonna be much for you there. I didn't get a rage. <laughs> perfect perfect example of where timing is more important on this map than anything else. Yeah. Yes. Well, to be fair, introvert is probably raging. 
<laughs> so, so we do get a rage. Know. Yeah, we do. We do get a rage. <laughs> Wonderful. It looks like uh, <laughs> Dash is going to be taking the first win of this third place match, best of five series. Well done there, Dash. Going to move on to game number two here on Introverts Map Selection. I'm feeling like we might see something we've already seen today. I'm guessing we're going to see a Moro as well. Um, just because, well, Moro is, uh, is, is kind of nasty. <laughs> but Unholy. if you play wait, Moro wait, as I'm, well. I'm going to channel my inner Attila. He's nasty more often than not. More oh, oh, oh <laughs> wow. Hey, I can do it too. That was excellent. That was excellent. Get this guy a participation medal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, wow. We have everybody in chat already. I believe Introvert is making his map selection now. So let's jump right into the lobby. Looks like Chia. Duplex 25, which is an absolutely fair map. Chia on Introvert. We got Trini on Dash. This map is uh, one of my favorites. Gotta love the tunnel. Oh, Yeah, Introvert, he went um, too early for the building, so it's going to punish him. Yeah, and Trini oh, is a good choice for this map already because the single forge. Yeah, yeah single this, forge. Is, this is not looking good for Introvert. Oh. He knows it. Look at the difference already in unit production, in total unit count. This is, he's in trouble. I'll give him that. And that forge being absolutely undefended. Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, the boulder, I mean, the stones are fine, but you can reinforce it from the other side. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit tricky to, to push that. That's yeah, GG yeah. and he knows it. Yeah, unfortunately the start the start really just caught him off guard and that misclick was just just enough to, to ruin the whole game. I, I wouldn't call that a misclick because he went for the forge and then he went for both the other buildings at the same time. Incorrect um, order. Maybe yeah. accidentally incorrect order, but it was an incorrect order. Yeah, but <laughs> If you always, the way I play that one is I send 25% to the forge. I wait until right before they're getting there. And then I send most of the troops to the 20 and the remainder to the 10 or 15 to cap it. And, you know, because you've got the forge, you're stronger, you cap them and don't use nearly as many troops. And exactly. just keep it at 100% and go for the largest number of neutrals in order. So 20, 15, 10. Yeah. And I do it slightly different. I don't think we end up really off in unit count per se, because I make up for unit count by not losing as many. Absolutely. So congratulations there. Uh, Dash, you know, two games in a row. Again, introvert, put in that tough spot, you know, put in that tough spot. Is he going to be able to take Are we gonna spot? get some more row? to come back with like he did in the other game. I, I, I'm, you know, I like to see Moro because of how cheesy it is. Yeah. Are we going to get some Moro Moro? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. That That's it. <laughs> you, you reached that one. That was great. Uh, <laughs> all right. So this has, we do have a chance. We do have a chance to see another climb but again you know you don't make it this far because it's easy all right so we do have everybody in the lobby here we're going to be jumping right into the game we have introvert versus dash in the match point we have dash playing kree First ah. Kree of the day as well. This is very ah, good. This will be good. Kree yeah. is really good on this map. Yeah, I being that a large map, his reverse sends him a long way back home. Yeah. I love Kree. Invisibility. Amazing. I love everything that Kree. I love his kit. 
And I see the community manager, Tormoz, has shown up in chat, which is nice to see. Here we go. Are we gonna, are we gonna be seeing that? Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, that is, ooh, ooh, that is spicy. All right, so not gonna be able to hold that forge. No. By no means gonna be able to hold that forge, especially but with- But he did some array. serious damage to him because of his uh, morale. Oh, this will be interesting, because he's- oh, First to reach it. No totem of rage. Oh, but it just came up. Unlucky. Definitely gonna be able to capture that King of the Hill Tower, no problem. Yeah. Feeding a ton of units into there. Morale not being too, too different. We're gonna be seeing reinforcement. Definitely worth it. The morale's changed away around here, so. Um, and there's Sandstorm. There's oh, Sandstorm. oh, this is. This is nasty with Sandstorm. This is gonna be messy. All those units as well, introverts, are gonna be sucked into the Sandstorm as well, not being able to defend that forge. And there's a ton of units in there. Like, there's a ton. Oh my god, this, this is kind of messy. This nasty, nasty, that's the first sandstorm today, too. It's great. That, is, that, that was the first sandstorm today. It's going to be a tough hold, though, for Kree. Was there invisible units? There? How did we take that? I missed it. Um, All right, so both I, sitting on two forges still. Oh, excuse me, introvert has three. One in the back. I didn't see it there. Yeah. Just barely, barely enough. You know, introvert doesn't have a ton of units in the forward field here. Now sending some himself. No rewind up. Really needing that rewind. And dash or introverts. Oh. oh misplaced rewind huge misclick that's going to be detrimental oh. you know, nice use of rolling stones yeah absolutely north side there and the introverts got 60 points left it's less now so i mean that's now we got invisible troops yeah it's a done game yeah it's a done game I mean, yeah it's not enough time it does look like this is actually going to be... I think this might be our first King of the Hill win ever in terms of countdown. He's just wiping out his unit count right now. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> a great introvert. That was... Introvert, that was there you go. Nicely cheered. <laughs> Going into game number four here now. Currently 2-1, still 4 um dash but not not too bad this is going to be a little bit rough it's going to still be rough for introvert you still got a long way to go and thank you tormoz that you're happy to see us on <laughs> team this time um we're glad that you uh enjoy watching us and are very supportive of everything we do those are some kind words kind, kind words. words he's a kind man though he deserves kind words that's some kind words from a delicacy from the cheese from the cheeseburger <laughs> all right so again congratulations there uh introvert still have a long way to go but it's still it's doable it's doable currently 2-1 for dash uh introvert um we've seen him before come back from a 0-2 lead so i'm wondering if he's going to be able to do it again like moro is enough to do it we saw it before um there was that. There was a huge misclick last game. A huge misclick. That, that reverse. Yeah. Oh man, that. You know that might have been enough to do it, but I think I don't know what happened. Whether he was rushed, whether his finger slipped. I don't know if he's PC or mobile, but a big enough error like that is definitely going to be enough to cause a loss. And um, we saw that happen to Introvert actually in game number two when he tried to, you know, he did Forge and then the villages. Didn't mm -hmm. capture the villages at a disadvantage, and because of it, he lost the game. So when you're in these these third place games, these third place games and these these final matches, there's no room for error because your opponent wants to win. He's not gonna go, oh, he made a mistake. I'm gonna, you know, that's fine. No, it's oh, he made a mistake. We're joining the game right now, you guys. <laughs> I smell blood. <laughs> Thank you.
This is going to be tricky for Dash. Yes. That Moro is... Oh, no, and it's coming up right away. Yeah, he's just going to send his units in, and it's... Just kill, kill, kill until it's up, and here it comes. It's going to pop at any second here. Oh, I'm actually... I'm so nervous for it. There it is. And see, he's got the double forge on it. That's not going to be a hold. That's no. game. That's game. game. That's game. Introvert going to be taking this, going 2-2. Okay. Okay, he's going. Oh. He's going. He's, 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 on the run. Do it. he's looking to get this third place match. He is he is kicking and screaming and fighting like hell because he wants this. Yeah, and if Introvert picks Moro, I think that Dash has to pick Moro as well. If he has him, I don't even know. That's actually a good point. I don't know if Dash has the new expansion. Also, hi Tormas, nice to see you as well. Uh <laughs> <laughs> um hello i couldn't agree more like i don't know if i don't think we've seen dash play any of the new heroes have we i don't think so i can't i can't think of a scenario where he has done it so quick reminder you guys this does have to be on king of the hill it looks like they're already are ready for that we have duplex 17 and this is the final match of the third place game you guys So we have Zik, Chia. and we have Chia. All right, timing. Will the timing be there? This is the one we've seen it time and time again. Oh, totem of rage! Yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah, but Green will hold it because he arrived at the. Oh rage. wait! Oh man! Oh, that was he, nice play. If he had clipped the forward half of that send he would have had that so yeah. he would have it immediately after but unfortunately he used it on the entire entire unit unfortunate that 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 hurts a yeah. lot that hurts a lot to see and he's ahead on production and oh. yeah this is i think this might be it for introvert he is but he's I'm not going to give up on him yet. I'm not he's got a lot to fight for here. He's got a lot to fight for. I mean, he's doing the right thing and holding back and not attacking, you know, and uh, trying to get some troop builds. Up. And I, I feel as though hard. Dash is also, I don't want to say giving him a chance, but he is. They're, you know, they're playing. They're playing the game. They're playing smart, though. Oh, yeah, especially uh, with that. I know he's fourth coming up. If the uh, introvert makes any big moves once that's up, that could decimate yeah, his sick. units in one swipe. Zix fourth. Oh man. Oh, see, and then just to clear units, I understand. There's the rewind, but now just being able to hold it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. He got it. He got it. Yeah. Oh, and Totem of Rage is up now. I do believe Dash is kind of tunneling this, manages to capture it. Definitely going to be able to hold it. Yeah, his morale is what's giving him the opportunity to get that back so easily. Yeah, here we go. We got the energy rush. Oh, man. See, this is the thing, though. Dash is so close to his fourth. There it is. So this this could just, he could just hold down, he could just hold the fort with just his fourth. There you go. It's going to be enough to hold that forge not be enough to capture the bottom maybe losing a bit of morale there yeah he did give up some morale but i don't think it's detrimental with his troop count i mean he's got way more troops oh man and he didn't quite feed enough units into that village nowhere enough into the forge and introvert knows it's gg so he calls it yeah dash is Congratulations, Dash. You are our third place victor of the day. Unfortunately, introvert, you're simply going home with 50 rank points and a participation medal and border. Whew. That was that was a good, I think that was a very excellent fifth game. Yes, that really was. I think that was an yes. excellent fifth game. I'm glad it went to five games and we weren't called liars for the entertainment we were going to give. <laughs> 
that's correct. But now, no, 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 no. Now we have a mega giveaway. Uh, we have our mega giveaway before we get our grand finalists on stage. You know, we're gonna they're gonna get them on stage, which is literally just in the lobby in game. Um, while we do this mega giveaway, I'm really looking forward to this one because we're giving away Yakuza Zero, you guys. It's not Yakuza One or Yakuza Two or Three. I don't even know if those games exist, but we're giving away Yakuza Zero, and it's a very simple question, you guys. Quick reminder on how these work. I'm going to be asking you guys a question. The answer to the question, which is the answer to the question. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I ask you guys a question. And all you have to do is answer it in chat. The first person to answer correctly is going to be going home or staying home with Yakuza 0. The question is, what country are both Cheeseburger and Attila from? If you've been here in previous streams, you might already know this. If this is your first time, it's not a bad idea to just throw a random guess out there. Um, but once again, you guys, for Yakuza 0, what country are both Cheeseburger and Attila from? I'm looking at the trailer right now, and I'm thinking, yeah, that's looking like a rated M Sega game. That's looking good. There's some bullets. There's some guys smoking cigarettes uh, and mean-looking faces. Yakuza 0, you guys. What country are both Cheeseburger and Attila from? If you don't know who Cheeseburger is, um, he's one of our casters. He's one of our expert analysts. He's been with us all day. He has a bald head and amazing beard. Um, and if you don't know who Attila is, well, I think we're going to have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> problem <laughs> because we just started right now. That like doesn't make any sense. Um, but thank you again, everyone, for participating in uh, the giveaways today. That'll be our last Mega Giveaway for today's stream. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have anything left in chat for you guys. I'm going to leave that to our wonderful support staff to be able to give you guys more or anything else. Um, appreciate it a ton, you guys. Once again, we do have our Grand Finals coming up. So if we could get some hashtag Grand and Finals chat, that'd be I great. think Alpaca is our winner. Alpaca definitely is our winner. We're we're Canadian, eh? Don't you know, eh? We're Thunder and Jesus, bye. Don't you know we take her out for a rip, bud? You know, go just for, out for a rip, <laughs> bud. Some poutine, get some poutine, poutine. and a freaking and a pilsner. <laughs> That's us, you guys. We're Canadian, eh? So I really appreciate um, everybody. You know, great guests, uh, great guesses. Um, and you know, well done. So we're gonna be starting up our grand finals, you guys. And yes, we have free healthcare, but we pay for that in taxes. So make sure you take advantage of our free healthcare by waiting four hours in line at any place you go to get anything checked. <laughs> and if you're sick, uh, <laughs> free healthcare isn't free. You do have to wait. It's it's bring your iPad cool. and play Mushroom Wars while you wait. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Boom. They do have good internet. There you go. You save money on your healthcare so you can buy episode three, the expansion. Wow. We just solve all your problems with free healthcare, you guys. Um, thanks again for participating in the giveaway. That's amazing. <laughs> let's uh let's get let's get excited for this grand final match. Who do we who do we have again here? Who's who's our grand finalists? We have Asveril. Asveril and Zvezbana. Zvezbana. This will be a good matchup. This is going to be an oh, absolutely sure. wild matchup. This is going to be wild. Wild. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely wild. Quick reminder, you guys, once again, best of seven? Best of seven. Best of seven. All seven games. All seven. You think so? I Golden hope so. Team seven? Predictions? Can, can we, everybody in chat? Four three. Four three? Four three? <laughs> yeah. Four three? What do, you, what do you think there? What do you think, Ben? Four three? I think I always am going to have the wishful thinking of it being a four split, four three split, because I want the good show. All right. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to one up you guys. This game is going to go four two. I'm not going to say who's going to win because I just, that's just an unfair prediction. And I think these guys are going to show us the best games. 
But that being said, we do have Duplex 58, our default starting match for today's tournament. Again, our grand finals, we got Svimana and Azrael. Let's jump right into the game, you guys. All right, so these players are sitting patiently waiting. I'm so in love with that border, guys. I don't know what it is about it. It's like a <laughs> totemic, like Aztec fire sun circle. And guess what? You can't have one because there was only 10 available. I know, I have border envy. <laughs> I do too. Pay to win. We're in pay to win players. Can't believe them. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got Azrael, we got Svimana, we got a Klotz, and we got an Ankh. And we know this Ankh gameplay is is so good. This is probably the best Ankh we've seen ever. Svimana, in stream, clearly, yes. Clearly yeah, yeah in tournament. Uh... On stream, yes, I would agree. All right, so All right, we got here we go. Some timing, timing. Some timing. Uh, turncoats. I don't know. Not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. But we do have the turn coated forge. We got a fear. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hold on a second. Sure. Nice turn around. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely. Definitely being able to hold. And he's got double well has the forge on the other side too. I mean it's double forge. I think it's tough. Yeah. yeah. Azrael's yeah. got this because there goes the unit production. If you send those guys out, it's GG. Yeah, that's well, wow. Oh very my goodness. Very, very surprising. Good I, well I am. I, <laughs> what? Ooh. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. So I, the first game of our grand finals is going over to Azrael. Currently 1-0 for Azrael, Svabana, your on gameplay, still amazing, but that Klotz gameplay was, that was impressive. That was very impressive. That second, the fear. Yeah, that, that fear. I, I didn't expect it, to be honest. I was like, turn coats, you know, the great idea, you know, lower that unit production, get some units out, great. To be perfectly honest, I also didn't watch the left side at all. I was so focused <laughs> on the right side to action. The left side to me just became a condition. <laughs> yeah. Because that side you, doesn't matter. Mm. No, the action is on the right side. But, you know, the left side forge also very important. Got quite, I, the, uh, quite the Azrael um, following here in chat, too. A lot of people think he's going to win 4 0 or 4 1. Oh, wow. Whew couple four twos homie thinks it's gonna be a three three and d19 final match here but we got everybody in game so let's jump right into the lobby you guys duplex eight we got a dora which oh i am so in love with dora you guys i've got the biggest mushroom crush in dora ever biggest <laughs> it's a mush crush for sure a mush crush. <laughs> hats off to mind games so. um really like this is a this is a i love dora chickens chickens is so good you get the accelerating vortex um, freeze morale, like Dora's kit is one of my faves. Look at how fast Vamon is going here, though. He's in trouble. He's going low. Oh, chickens. Nice Where are they chickens. Going? I think he was meant to defend the forge, but now being able to. Oh, slow. Down. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Slow it down. Oh no, not being able to capture that bottom village is going to be a little bit tough on Svabana here. Oh, and he gets the forge too. Oh no. Oh, no. how did he not reinforce that in time? 
I don't know. He saw how slow they were going. He had Cervana. Had to go into the back line just as a Hail Mary, I guess. I don't know. He's in a lot of speed. trouble. Nice turn here. Very nice. That was very nice. Svobana seemed to have the lead at one point there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly. And Azrael taking it 2-0, guys. What's happening here? <laughs> What's happening? I think you get it that... Uh that you smell blood in the water and get a little over eager. And uh, I think he definitely had the advantage and knew it, but uh, wasn't able to capitalize on it, unfortunately. An apex predator right now. Azrael is no holds bar here. Going in deep, catching all the mistakes. I'm very surprised. I'm very, very surprised that Svimana did not fortify that forge. After... I thought he did, but he must have moved some troops out or something happened because... I saw 40 troops in there and then I looked somewhere else and I don't know. I'm surprised. I thought, I thought for sure after the slowed units were like, you know, moseying their way over that that was the easiest defense ever. But I, I must have missed it because however it happened, the forge was lost and the game was lost. Yeah. I'm, I'm very surprised. So, Azrael currently leading 2-0. So everybody's Zero. predictions right now, you know, might come to fruition. We're seeing a lot of four zeros. A four one for Azrael even. Like this is this is a heavy, heavy bet match right now. So we have everybody in lobby. It looks like they would like to be playing on duplex five. So let's jump right into the game for you guys. So is this going to be on duplex five? So Ivana picking the map right now. Not really sure if it's going to be locked in. This map is rather cheeky. This is rather cheeky. Plus with the new heroes um, being introduced, there's so much room for, for cheeky plays. But so far, it's been kept rather neutral. Have mm -hmm. these players played any of the new heroes in yeah, this matchup yet? Has. Oh, in this matchup, no. Oh. Oh. Pixo, Pixo. Pixo, Pixo. Please, please. Oh. Nice. Yes. This is going to be good. Pixo v Pixo. This is going to be a very... Um, it's going to be like Star Wars here. There's going to be so many ships flying around. <laughs> <laughs> nice, comfortable, slow start, you know. Got that unit production going in for their going in for the tower. Forge early forge for both of them. And that's gonna be both sitting on their firsts now, so you don't want to be moving too many units around. Is it gonna be Azrael's first going out? Only gonna be taking out a few, still gonna be able to capture that, no big deal. Oh, but now not gonna be able to defend it very well. Oh, just kidding, he can put a UFO down too. Look at this, this is just this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I think Zvibana's definitely got the uh, early advantage here. I think so as well. Look at the, look at the mana difference too, mm -hmm. right? First going out. Trying to get into that line. Oh, and Azrael jumping through on the right and just getting two of his buildings away from him. Oh, but that might not... Yeah, oh play. no! Look at this. Oh, ruining his production oh, there. Yeah, excellent turnaround again, as, as for real. Yeah. Do you guys are you aware of that animation bug um, with the UFOs? Do you guys see that by chance? What's that? It the UFO will sometimes shoot something completely out of its range. Oh, really? I haven't noticed. It won't kill it. It won't kill it. But just watch. You'll see a couple lines come out from the UFO. Um, it's very interesting. No, it's very interesting yeah. as who's piloting the UFO. Yeah, it seems like a... It's drawn. <laughs> it's drawn. <laughs> I think it is. Oh. This is a very... Interesting map. We see Azrael with that huge morale lead right now. Oh, 
Come on, still. It's... Oh, down oh, to Z. Just enough. Just oh, enough. I didn't think you would hold it. This is a nice yeah. back and forth. Yeah, this is going to be very, very close here. Azrael sitting on all his abilities, though. Gravity going up now, too. Just holding on to that. Just gingerly holding on to that top village. He knows he needs to expand because that thing is getting aggroed like crazy right now. Three towers are going to be tough to get through. Very, very yeah. challenging. He does have his fourth up, so if he runs too many units into that village up there, he could send them out and decimate because Pixel's fourth also protects from one tower shot. You don't see his fourth used very often. No. I yeah, love this fourth. They're still getting, getting, learning how to use it. Nicely done. Oh my goodness! Get a couple oh. guys in there quick! Cause there's that there's that forge there too that is yeah. is that wide open really now. Nice very very weird place because he knew it had to be defended. Look at that morale shift. Yeah. Well, Azrael's got a big advantage now running double forge here. Yeah, this game is just seesawing one way than the other. It's so hard to predict what's going to happen next. So many abilities up for both players. Oh, well, I thought he. Reinforced, but he's gonna. And look at that, the... using his second ah. again. Man, that second ability is so oh, it's powerful. Oh. Amazing. Look at this now, just so, so much. I, I do believe Azrael has got this one. He has, he's got so many more units. The morale difference is just it's yeah. humongous. Um, so Vivana does, is sitting on his abilities, but look at Azrael now just spamming first, spamming UFO. Just being able to hold on, not giving him, a, not giving Savannah oh, a chance. Another building up top. Oh my goodness. I think that's gonna be GG. Yeah. Yeah, getting into the oh, back line right like now. Oh, Gravity's going up. up. Oh. Just to capture that forge. Look at this, Azrael now has a second, so it doesn't even matter. He'll be able to put those units anywhere so quickly. Sobana throwing out the GG going three. Oh! Unreal. Holy moly. That was an awesome game. Amazing game. That was an awesome game. Yeah, the back and forth. That's a that's what I want to see in the last game. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The grand, the grand finals are just one way or the other. We got one more potential game. This is has to be on King of the Hill. Please don't do this to me, guys. This might be the last game. Please send it to King of the Hill. Azrael versus Fabana here. Match point. Match point. Match point. What is going to happen, you guys? I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little bit shaking right now. I I don't want it to end. I want it no, to end. Yeah, I, I don't want it to be over, sir. I don't want it to be over. I don't want it <laughs> to be over. By default, I'm rooting for Zvabana. Zvabana. Yeah. It's such a... Michelle, you've ruined me. I used to be so good with names. <laughs> <laughs> Vindablane. Vindablane. I can't even pronounce my own name now. Vindablane. Fussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Wow. Game number four. Best of seven. Potential final match or final game here match point i don't know i don't know what to say this this could go this could go anywhere yeah this could be the comeback of the century i don't want it to end don't let me down zvabana you gotta gotta win a couple here gotta go to seven if you're listening please be listening please <laughs> going into game number four Currently 3-0 for Azrael. And the thing is, like, Azrael has so much wiggle room. So much wiggle room. Being in the lead by three wins, you have so much space to have, you know, keep your cool, keep your composure. So Fibana is in a is in a very tough spot, but we do have everybody in game. It's Fibana's choice. We got duplex six. They have it set to King of the Hill. Match point, Fibana versus Azrael.
okay, so there's a Trini. I don't know how I feel about this. A Trini and an Ankh. Trini is a very powerful player on Duplex 6. And I like I'm Trini not, this map, but I don't like her on this map mode. That's fair. That's fair. This is very nerve wracking. I don't know what to expect. Asriel with a little bit slower of a start. But we do got some bees. We got the bees are up. Freeze and attack. Going in for it. You know. Great, great choice. Oh! 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 <laughs> Ooh! Evil. That's nasty. Okay, still being able to snake some units in there, so definitely gonna be able to hold on to this. No problems there. Get some morale from it. Yeah. No problems there. Now we're going to be seeing that northern push. And this is a big deal because those towers up there, if you control both of them, just say goodbye that you've been getting near that king of the hill tower. It's just, it's too hard to push it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's detrimental. That's that's going to hurt them in the long run. We already actually saw uh, a tornado. Oh, oh no. Cool. We're seeing a play. On it. Move in. There you go. Got a plague as well from as or excuse me from Svebana. That tornado Nothing wiped him out too. He got one through. Oh, well, oh no. He won't have enough to get there though. No. no. We got the forges, both forges up. And we got a morale flip now. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna be seeing these towers getting overloaded. Switching the tower into a forge. And upgrading, Extra upgrading, power. upgrading. Go, go, go. How's the timing here going to be? He didn't send enough, though. Oh, he's got that. His oh. first. And it can reach. Yeah. That's what saved him. Wow. We got an energy rush going now as well. Going to be pushing that top king of the hill tower. Upgrading. Oh, but the big slow. Still big pouring slow. those units in. Still pouring, oh, pouring those units in. Reads. Definitely going to be able to hold it. Still holding the King of the Hill Tower on the top and now overloading it like crazy. We're going to be seeing a big oh, heavy, hard. Back yeah, he wants it. He wants it. He's going in deep for this one. Yeah. Azrael going to be getting his first right away here too. Going to be seeing a Forge Freeze any minute now. Oh, oh so to the Tower Freeze. Going to be able to push that now. Power. He'll have enough. For sure, absolutely, no problem. He's looking to conquest this. Now he's pushing the top northern forge, finding out, probing it a little bit. Tons of units in there right now. Asriel's had some amazing comebacks this set. Yeah, amazing. Now he's taking that forge, now he's taking that. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be GG, I believe. It is. I don't think there's any chance for Svibana to get this game back in his hands, throwing up the white flag, and that is it! Unreal. That what? is it! Unreal. Unreal. Asvaril showing us what is up. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Say congratulations. <laughs> 4 0. Very, very well done. A 4 wow. 0 for our finals. That's 4 0. That, that is all. insane. Insane. Never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. Congratulations. Asriel, you're going home with 500 rank points, a first place avatar frame, a first place trophy medal. If you're playing on mobile, you're going to take home an extra prize as well. And you're going home with a bunch of games. Seven, the days long gone, Cube 2, Project Cars 2, Fight and Rage, Paradigm, Full Metal Furious, and Cultist Simulator. The one that we are all most excited about. Thank you guys so much for participating in today's tournament. I don't really know what to say other than congratulations and thank you yes congratulations and i just want to put this out here just because i'm going to be the first to say it is asvril since you're getting one of those awesome new avatar frames that say first place i will take your one you're using right now that there's only ten. <laughs> oh just man <laughs> yeah, you, didn't didn't you didn't say dibs you didn't dibs, say dibs dibs no <laughs> <laughs> congratulations asvril Vin Blaine Cheeseburger, do you guys have anything to say before we depart with these lovely people? I am always grateful to be here and uh, love the show, love the performance, love seeing new faces out here today. Uh, really nice to see the next generation of Mushroom Warriors stepping up. 
and uh, making a name for themselves. Absolutely. Cheeseburger, any last words here? Uh, amazing games today that we got to watch and talk about and some amazing new players that I haven't heard of that I'm going to be watching for in games. So uh, if you guys see me around and you want to play a game, always invite. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's Much More is 2 tournament presented by the OP Noobs. We appreciate it so much, you guys. Thanks for everybody who participated in our in-chat giveaways. Anybody who's participating in our English chat and our Russian chat, we know there's a ton of you guys out there. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys. Anybody who participated, don't forget to claim you guys' rewards. Um, we'll be dishing out our rewards as fast as we can. Thank you to our support staff for doing all that work. We know it's, it's tough communicating with all these players, um, organizing everything. So we just want to say a huge thank you. Um, thank you again, Vin Blaine Cheeseburger, for joining me and helping me analyze these wonderful players. And players, thanks for showing us that heroes matter, maps matter, turnarounds are always possible. Incredible gameplay, you guys. Um, but I think that's everything here from us at OP Noobs. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And have a, 